something lurking around in the dark. Please, miss. You have to help me get out of here. Something strange is happening. Everything will be all right, I promise. I won't let anything bad happen to you. <sighs> what the hell is going on here? atrocities. Am I going insane? Insane. insane? Welcome, guys. I like that tagline for the game. There's no escaping the evil with inside. It almost sounds like the evil within. Oh, I gotta get comfortable. But yeah, today we're starting um, Tormented Souls. George, I was gonna say you better be here. <laughs> You're the one that sent the game over. But yeah, we're we're. Let me lower this mic. This mic's peaking. Testing. All right, how, how's that? Do I sound okay? Do I sound too loud? Do I sound all right? Tormented Souls, how you felt watching Halloween Kills? No, 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 no. You got it wrong. Halloween ends. I loved Halloween Kills. Halloween ends. That that was the travesty. Let me get the mic closer. Yeah, so I've never played this game. It's going to be a blind playthrough. I, I know it's supposed to be like uh, RE style survival horror, I guess. So if you played it, no spoilers in chat. No crazy backseat gaming and taking over the chat either. Look at those calves. She, she has pretty good calves, I have to say. Actually, now my monitor's in the way. Ugh. It's inside. That's better. Nice Halloween hat. It would be a shame that Halloween ends. I, I that that movie's not canon. I don't care. Um. So yeah, we'll start this today. I don't know how how many streams it'll be to finish it. Um. Today I'm probably gonna get off right around eleven, right around the four hour mark. I actually, uh, the reason I'm not streaming tomorrow is I I have a bunch of family coming over tomorrow from out of town. And our house is is hosting, so um, and we're gonna go out to eat too during the day. But at night, our house is hosting, and it's kind of a mess right now. Still, the thing about like after the hurricane, uh, the outside is still kind of messy. I've been cleaning it since the hurricane. The inside is still a mess, so I've been working on it daily. But I gotta, I gotta like the dishes are piled up in the kitchen. I, I gotta get to it, so I, I gotta clean up today and tomorrow. Actually finished, um, we got a, a free, some of you already know about the table we got a couple of months back. We found like some giant 54 of a 54 inch table someone was throwing out and we took it and I, I put a bunch of comic book art all over it. I just finished it today. I actually sprayed it with Mod Podge sealer after I glued them and I uh, sealed it in epoxy today. So I'm drying it. It looks beautiful. It's beautiful. It looks like glass. It's like liquid glass. It needs like a week to cure fully, but, um. Oh my god, I could probably sell that easily for like 2k. I'm not going to, though. I want it. Is Gotham Knights better than Arkham Knight? No, it's not. I, I love Gotham Knights. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a great game. But is it better than the Arkham games? No, not in a million years. Th those games are... 
I mean, those games are way up there. It's hard to beat those. It, it's definitely not better than those games. I like it a lot, but better? No. I thought hurricane season was over. Hurricane season is not over till. I don't know when officially it ends. I feel like it always changes, but no, it's still Atlantic hurricane season still going on. I mean, we're not having any storms coming. I, it, I'm still talking about the one from early October that hit us. <clears throat> oh, God, my nose is runny. All right, let's go ahead and start this. The hell? I got a little mouse cursor. All right. Oh, let me, let me see if there's subtitles here. There's like no anything options here. Sound. Don't tell me this is one of those games without subtitles. It's just music. I mean, it's an indie game, so I, I guess that uh, it's very simple. I suck. My hands are all sticky. I, I was working at the epoxy earlier today, and that shit gets all over your hands. I've watched them like a thousand times, too. Hurricane season doesn't end until the next hurricane season. Yeah, isn't that the truth? I did not turn on the game audio, did I? I did not. Here, now I turned it on. If anything in this game looks low budget, remember this is an indie game. So we got to be a little more forgiving. A letter for me? I never receive letters. Is this first time playing? Yeah, this is a blind play. I haven't played this before. A letter for me? To Carolyn Walker, 578 Rain Street, Campbell River, Canada. From John Doe Hospital, Wild Burger. That sounds like a great restaurant, Wild Burgers. Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada. Let's interact with it. I should check the front of the letter to see who the sender is. Okay. Yeah, it's John Doe. I see it right there. Okay. Ugh, my head, what was that? You just think you can abandon us here? I kind of like this, that where you have to like examine uh, stuff you collect. I assume the rest of the game is going to be like that. Game audio is loud? Yeah, let me lower it a bit. It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildburger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image Severe of Severe played two weeks. Girls. Yeah, he told me. We didn't even know we were both and streaming it. I am it. able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. Spencer what's mentioned. the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildburger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. There you go, Wildburger Hospital. What's going on. Make the best burgers. All right, so he here's here's a question I'm going to propose. Why would you, if you received a letter telling you to, uh, about this creepy-ass hospital, why would you go at the creepiest time possible in the middle of the night? Why would you not wait till like, a, a 2, 2 p.m. in the afternoon to go go to the hospital and see what's up? <laughs> oh, that looks kind of cool. Instead of waiting till nighttime when the monsters are all out. Is that game audio better? Oh shit. Wild Burgers reminds you of Wahlburgers. Mark Wahlberg and his, his brother, they open a restaurant uh, here in Orlando. I think they have multiple locations. I've never eaten there. I've heard it's actually not that good. It's Wahlburgers. Oh shit. This does look like Evil Within. She's got a tube in her mouth. Oh, we got titties. Cover your eyes, children. There are titties afoot. <laughs> I won't go there at all night, idiot. She goes in the middle of the night. No wonder this shit happened. Oh my god. Completely naked. 
People were telling me like, oh, you might get demonetized, but it's like, it won't just matter. I'll lose what two dollars? <laughs> Not even actually. That's on like really busy streams, maybe like two dollars in ad revenue. Why was I connected to the respirator? I don't know. Respirators and oscill oscill oscilloscopes. What did they do to me? I like the lighting in this game. The character model's a bit basic, but the, the environment looks really good. Severe, what's up, man? Hey, Severe, did you did you finish this game? I didn't tune into your stream because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Did you actually play it all the way through yet? Oh, shit. Her eye's gone. The hell? Oh god, what have they done to me? Who could have done such a horrible thing to me? Why? You have it way too bright, lower it? This is just the default. Oh shit, it does look kind of bright on my screen. Hang on. Brightness. Oh shit, why was it all, why is it all the way turned up? No wonder, I'm glad you told me that. Please adjust the brightness so the image in the center is barely visible. Okay. In the center. Okay. Oh, that's... Hold on. Let me turn up just a little tiny bit. Oh my god, yeah, that did. Is that how your game was, by default? Because I haven't messed with the menus at all. Maybe right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that looks alright. I hate it when it's too dark. Yeah, it looks like you're in your sandstorm. Yeah, everything was white. No, this looks better. Retro complex, what's up, man? How'd you like that Castlevania game I recommended? Simon's Destiny. Or Doom game. I don't know what you'd call it. William Wildberger's Diary. Today's the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we've endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, wife has blessed me with two beautiful angels, but there's more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the ba first baby, Emma, was born. <coughs> as I opened the lid, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insists it's a sign. She has started using an hour, or the hour, as her lucky number and uses it for everything. All right, what hour? I sure, I'm sure that's a puzzle clue. Exact time when the baby was born. <clears throat> Loved it. Can't wait to play more. Awesome. Yeah, it was a cool game. A brown leather jacket with blue jeans. Oh, what is, is this kind of like your uh, your storage container? I've streamed it once, but now I haven't beaten it yet. I'm streaming again next week. Gotcha. Oh, never mind. This is an actual puzzle. Old pocket watch. There's a latch. Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. Okay. So what, basically what we got to do is see what time it says here, and that's going to be the combination of the lock. I assume. 12, 35, there's the babies. Oh, can I change my clothing? Let's see what the other jacket looks like. Did it change? Oh, change clothes. I'll leave the default one. What did I say? Did I say 1235? Basic puzzle. 
combination padlock. An old rusty wrench. The jaw size is adjustable. Okay, so I assume this is a weapon. Examine. Another for me will be the month of Sonic Frontiers and Pokemon Violet. Pokemon Violet's a whole nother generation, right? Do not let shadows embrace you. What does that mean? Boom. Get a trophy already? I'll take it. Man, this look, I love the fixed camera angle. Well, kind of, like right here. Where it's like kind of like zoomed up in the corner of the room. It reminds me of Resident Evil 1 Remake. Oh, shit. They did say not to let the shadows embrace me, so... I, I should not go that way. Where's my wild burgers? Oh, we got creepy dolls already. An old gas lighter. Okay. So now I can see. Hello, creepy baby. <clears throat> Game journalist never escaped that room. My god. You know, that wouldn't surprise me at all. At all. The game journalist never got out of the bathtub. Are you going to check out Sonic Frontiers? I, I'd like to eventually, but I, I don't want to pay 60 bucks for that game. I'm, I'm going to wait. Plus, with so many games coming, it's I, I'm, I'm not anticipating that much. Maybe if all the reviews are like straight 10 out of 10s everywhere, it's like a must play. Maybe then I'll be curious enough to check it out right away, but nah. I can wait. For a Sonic game, I can wait. I like Sonic, but it's not like it's one of the most anticipated games of the year. Greetings from Cancun. Maybe, Peach, what are you doing in Cancun? You on vacation? Oh! Chub scare. A clip of nails can be used with a nailer. Okay. The Nightmare, painted by Henry Fuseli in 1781. It depicts a woman in a deep sleep with a demonic incubus crouched on her chest. You imagine waking up in the middle of the night and seeing that little goblin like chilling on your on your chest. Those Ragnarok reviews dropped today, all 10 out of 10. Doesn't surprise me. I mean, the game looked like it was going to be a masterpiece. Okay, there's an electronic lock. Vacation with my girlfriend, nice. Hopefully you're having fun. I mean, how can you not, right? I don't have my wrench anymore. The fixed camera angles in the mansion designs what I love the most. The narrow hallway adds so much cluster. Yeah, like Resident Evil 1. It, it very much has those Spencer Mansion vibes. I like that. I don't have a map yet either, do I? Nope. Joe, welcome to the Tormented Soul stream. The left side of a plastic heart. I'm probably going to have to put that in some kind of model. I remember that in Code Veronica, too. Wesley in the house, welcome. It says really big, total, oh, fatal frame. Yeah, you know what it is, the character. She looks like someone that would be in Fatal Frame. A vial of morphine treats minor in... Okay, so this is going to be like our green herbs, I guess. Yeah, it's a resource. It's covered in blood. God, it reeks. I don't dare lift the sheet. A tape is required to save progress. Oh, so this is like your... your Oh, so, oh man, this is like old scores. So I have to get tapes. So there's no, is severe, is there checkpoints here? Or it's straight up like Resident Evil where I have to get uh, tapes to save. Oh man. Seven inch tape that could be used to, well, shit, I don't want to save this early. If I, there's limited save, oh man. I'm going to have to think like Resident Evil. You guys are going to see me hoarding. <laughs> I must. 
I noticed the game didn't give me any difficulty options either. Yeah, it just started. Okay, well, I gotta remember that, that, uh, that room in case I need to save. Well, Black Adam reaches a billion. It's not going to. <laughs> Black Adam already made it the money it's gonna make. It was a good movie. It wasn't that great. And Dead Card coming in with the $2. Thank you. No checkpoints. Limit saves like it's the 90s. I like that, though. That's cool. That That's very much uh, old school survival horror. Her design is heavily Japanese, like Fatal Frame. Yeah, um, you know what I, I do kind of wish they had? And I know this isn't popular at all. What I'm are in, you I'm, buying? I'm very much in the minority, but I wish this had tank controls. Oh, can't, you know what I wonder? Can I use tank controls? Is there an option? No. I love tank controls, man. I know people hate on them, but I think they're, they're, they're fun. They're good controls. Nobody likes the Maria Wildberger's diary. IGN confirms Jack Krauser will appear in RE4 Remake. Of course he will. He's a huge part of the story. There's no way he wouldn't appear. Oh. June 6, 1963. I was terrified of what William, William Birkin, would do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's whip. God damn. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father in the same way again. Sound like an asshole. There's a lot of junk in this mansion. Okay, a map of the area. Do I keep the map? Oh. There we have a portable map now, it seems. This is a hospital, right? Oh, do I have to manually look at the map every time? Oh, look. Right click. I'm glad someone in this universe uh, colored on the back of this map a random button. <coughs> The pad gives you tank controls by default? What do you mean, the pad? What well, pad? Did I read that wrong? Because I don't have tank controls. Judith beheading Holo, Holo Furnas. It depicts Judith beheading the Syrian general Holo, Holo Furnas. <laughs> In his tent after charming him. Okay, how, where am I? I'm trying to figure out this map. It's locked. So I guess I am... Is that me? Oh, the D-pad. I thought you were talking about the touchpad. Oh shit, <laughs> you're right. Ooh, I like that. All right, I'm using the D-pad from now on. We got tank controls, people. See, look, this is the joystick. Although the joystick's really comfortable. All right, I'm sticking with the D-pad. <laughs> I'm glad you told me that. We gotta play it old school. Man, people are gonna hate that. But at least it gives you the option. But look, we got these little symbols. Alien, Pharaoh, B, and whatever the hell it is. And Earth and Naked People. Makes me sad as they change Leon's knife to generic combat knife. Uh, no one knows that kind of stuff, though. Like, the actual gameplay. I don't think it matters. Oh, little things. And that's what you saw in the trailer. It might be different in the final game. The trailer is not necessarily a final uh, game footage. Ah. It's missing a handle. 
We have a lot of reading here. Dr. William Wildberger, since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding onto a metal object, which we probably have to collect. With the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I've been able to remove it from their hands. Okay. Spooky. Yeah, this game has hybrid controls, which is fantastic design, in my opinion. Yeah, I like having the option. What the fuck? Was that someone in a wheelchair? Well, I'm going this way. Oh, see, now the fucked up stuff is starting. It's been mutilated. What the hell is going on here? Man, look how the camera moves, too. This right here. Look at this. Oh, I got an itch. This right here um, has a very eternal darkness feel. The way the camera moved there. That's kind of cool. Never heard of this game before. Yeah, it came out last year. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what the review... I've never looked at the reviews for it. The only reason I knew about this game at all was cause severe because you know, when you streamed the demo, that's the only reason I even heard about this game. Was that last year? multiple ways <laughs> okay then I have nothing to defend myself with I better not die because <laughs> I have not saved initially What the hell is going on here? Yeah. I was actually going to play, uh, originally, <coughs> today's stream was gonna be, would have been Dead Space 3, but, um, George and Chat here donated this game to the channel, so, figure I'd play this first. Who made this Capcom? It's an indie game. So it's an indie developer. What the hell is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Oh, it's you. It's Don't you remember me? I'm the town <laughs> priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? She's acting way too calm for what she just witnessed. They're like a wheelchair claw monster coming at her. The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. She didn't finish reading her line. Anything could be lurking in the dark. I did run into a glitch where my ammo pickups weren't adding up to my inventory ammo. Oh, that's going to piss me off. No, hell no. If I pick up ammo, not, you guys know I hoard my ammo. I need it to count. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door. This voice acting, it's about what I'd expect room. from an indie game. You can I see. Probably Daymare 1998 style. Another game we're streaming soon. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Father. But what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, yeah, he's God got that metal cross, me. man. He can just stab someone with it. A nailer with a modified air pressure tank to increase the power. Sweet. Okay. 
Okay. I'm ready. L2, L2 and R2. It's got some moves. Streaming Damir tonight actually going to be a finale stream? Yeah, I would have streamed it already, but had a couple delays in the month. We'll get to it. That game, I've heard the voice acting is pretty uh, top-notch also. I'm still trying to figure out the map here. I don't think this is the same floor. I don't think I have the map for this floor. Those things are creepy as hell. Look at those. Radioactive suits are lined on the wall. Okay. No syringe. I can't wait until um, the Code Veronica fan remake. I know the guy, I think he's releasing an unfinished version in a couple weeks there, but I'm, I'm going to wait till the thing's done before I stream it. I want to stream the finished product. It's not plugged in. Ooh. Is, is that a weapon? <laughs> My god. <laughs> Josh Bumpton, welcome to Doom Slayer. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Do you have a wrench? You have a wrench, right? Yeah, you do. Cool. Look at that. I'm ready to hit this one. Ah! Oh, man. That's real slow. Damn, man. I'm going to have to go to the wheelchair guy. I don't want to go over there. I need to save. <laughs> when I get a chance. Because if I die, it's going to take me back to the title screen. Daymare is one of the tougher sides with tons of puzzles to frustrate you. Oh, yeah, I remember watching you stream that one with the stupid lights. It's terrifying. Looks like I'm not going to be able to get around it. Is there a card expired that was linked to the membership? No worries. Appreciate it, though. That thing's ready to get my ass. You could pull the boards off of the crowbar. Oh, it's not just a weapon? Oh, shit. I thought it was just a weapon. Use. Oh. Interesting. Where's this taking me? Either way, your two-year anniversary, yes. Thank you for your 20 more months of support. Very much appreciated. Man, now I want a tape player so I can save. Maintenance crew logbook. There's an issue with the electric generator. The pressure of the gas must be exact. Oh, God, it's going to be a puzzle. Must be exact for it to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. Okay. Is this it? Go find this control panel. Wait, where did I come from? Oh, now I got a map of this place. Over here. Okay, gen so, okay, I guess this is like Resident Evil, where red is the rooms that still have stuff in there to explore. That's what I was wondering. I'm being suffer <laughs> stuck like I did. Yeah, I, I didn't know that like, that was a mechanic. I didn't know that was a mechanic at all. I thought it was just a weapon. Small valve. Oh. But yeah, like I said, we'll figure things out. That was helpful though, because like I said, I, I if it's a core game mechanic, you know, whatever. Combine with this. 
did I read earlier? Ten. Ten. All right. Let's see. This feels like a Resident Evil puzzle right here. Oh, the valve is missing. There we go. How do I put it on there? I like this. How because in Resident Evil you just click the item and it uses it. Here you actually have to like navigate to it. I think it's kind of cool. I saw Resident Evil talk about a Code Veronica remake. Yeah, there's a fan remake that's been worked on for a while. It looks fantastic actually. Ten. Wait, that's not a puzzle. That can't be that easy. Hold on. There's no way it's that easy. About to say. Alright, I need ten. It's on there. How far did you get a new campaign for Modern Warfare 2? We stopped when you're inside the, the, the drug cartel house. Inside, like, the, the actual guy's, uh, his house. I forgot what the mission was called. It said it had to be 10, right? It had to be exactly 10 is what it said. This game is probably all going to be puzzles. <clears throat> but they can't use the RE engine, right? Is that copy? Well, who? Who can't use it? If you're talking about Capcom, yeah, I mean, that's, that's Capcom's uh, in-house engine. I thought I already had it solved. There are loads of puzzles. Awesome. <laughs> Cause I'd rather do puzzles instead of killing monsters, right? It's on ten. Isn't that what the game wants? Look, it's on ten. That's what it told me. Look, right here, it says 10. Right there. This doesn't go anywhere here. Oh, I think I see. I think I have to actually put it on 11. Because look, when I hit start, it goes down one. I think that's what it is. I have to put it on 11. I'm playing this and Daymare, so I'm in puzzle hell. Oh, severe. Why, why would you play both consecutively? You, you can drive yourself mad. <laughs> you know what? Throw Saw on Xbox 360 in there. You'll go crazy. <laughs> You'll lose your shit. Those puzzles are driving me absolutely crazy. The uh, circuit board puzzles. And they just get more and more complicated as the game goes on. Yeah, no, you can't do two puzzle heavy games at the same time. You'll go nuts. See, so watch right here. There we go. Why can you turn it off? All right, we have power. The power. I don't know which way it came from now. We're unlocked. Screw you, wheelchair monster. 
You're not getting my ass. Was this x-ray room? Hey, priest, we got power. You may find what you're looking for in the library. How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the east wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. It's a waiting room door. Thank you. Take care, Father. Okay, waiting room. Waiting room. Okay, I see. See, I feel like there's still stuff for me to do in here, though. I guess for now I'll follow directions. And I will, uh... Go to the library, I suppose? All the way at the end, I could go up the stairs, right? I think so. What door is this? This is your generator room. Okay, so I go the other door. The soundtrack's pretty creepy. the other one. I can't sprint, right? Guess not. Screw you. <laughs> I saw that rail. Can't get me. I'm leaving. Kiss my ass. I'm not gonna fight that thing. Not if I don't have to. Haha. <laughs> Taco, welcome. Been here, just can't. Oh, just can't talk now. You're good. Appreciate you being here. During this tour of Mented Souls. For those, for those that tuned in uh, after I started, um, I'm probably going to get off today, like right at 11. I got family stuff tomorrow. And uh, I got people coming over, so the house is a mess. So I'll probably get off a. Uh, I guess not early, but on time today to uh, tidy up a bit. And then this one, of course, will continue next week. What are we streaming next? On Monday, we're streaming... Uh, oh, I don't know if I updated the little banner there with the games I'm streaming. Um, Modern Warfare. We're going to finish it. And talk with the five. Thank you. I just had an idea for your 125 goal if you haven't gotten one already. Ooh, Dante's Inferno. You know what I'm actually going to do? Because a lot of you guys have given me really good ideas what are you for buying? 125 members. I'm going to put it up for a vote. I'm going to gather all the more most interesting. That's one of them for sure. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever will probably be another one. I'll put them in a poll with like four or five games that you guys have suggested. I'll let members vote on it. I think that'd be the best thing to do. I forgot about Dante's Inferno. That'd be a good one. Yeah, because the last goal was bully, but we, we hit that, so we're, we're going to do that one soon. This is the maternity ward. See, look, once I pick this up... See, the room's still green, though. Or, it's still red. I wonder if this game has any jump scares. I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? Am I Frank to sign this person? The oh look, her chest was left open in the middle of the procedure. The heart is missing. I thought today was Friday. No, normally I would stream on Friday, but uh, like I said I have stuff to do tomorrow, so I moved it to today and said next week will be Friday. Same as always. Same as the the norm. It doesn't fit. What do you mean it doesn't fit? The heart's missing. I got a Frankenstein. Holy oh, shit. It's alive. It's alive.
Alright, so we'll be back to that. Obviously, I don't have what I need yet. What's that? Over here. Baldur's Gate 1 or 2 on sale for 9. I remember those games. I never played them, though. Are they beat-em-ups? Like a hack and slash kind of thing? Kind of like Diablo, right? The nurses told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the paternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs on the wall was flickering. I saw that one. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushed me back with strength unimaginable. Damn it. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? Let's check it out. And yes, Mel with the five. Thank you. Why the notifications taking so long? Uh, three more stream ideas. Blood Rain, Darkstalkers, and Ninja Gaiden. Those I won't do as member um, goals because I'm, I'm going to do those anyways. Those will just be regular streams. Especially Darksiders. Oh man, what I don't want to go out here yet. Retro, have you played this game? Oh, was it? Hey, Severe, wasn't this in the demo? I vaguely remember you climbing into a hole or something. <laughs> I need to save, man. Never? It's so cool, man. I like these kind of games. I wish we had more of these games. It feels, um... It feels old, but in a good way. Not outdated. It feels like games that we used to get. Like classic Resident Evil. Like, this feels like something that would have been on the GameCube, you know? I love that. Various mannequin. Oh, fuck with the mannequins again. I've had enough mannequins for the week. I need to save. Before something bad happens. It's a mirror. Oh, look, the candles. Look. Common rule of these Resident Evil type puzzles always see what you can interact with. The hell was that? Whoa. It's like a world within the mirrors? Is it Narnia or something? Legit totally have that vibe? Yeah. It's cool. I love it. See, why would you go into that without knowing what's on the other side? I would just, I would, I would leave. I would just go home. I'm like, oh, I can go through this mirror. Fuck this, I'm going home. <laughs> People gotta be nosy, man. That's how you get stuck in other dimensions. Stupid, man. People are stupid. Whoa. Is this, man, this is kind of like Silent Hill, too. See, look, everything's all decrepit now. It's... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm going back down there. I wasn't ready yet. Oh, no, I haven't saved. All right, first combat. Damn, six shots. How's my health now? Caution already? No. Too much ammo wasted. Damn it. Twelve nails. Fuck. Make me waste ammo. I don't like that.
Oh, look. A fake heart and a fake baby. Double tap, always double tap, right? The fuck you mean it doesn't fit? It's a fake baby and I got a fake heart. There's a hole in his chest cavity. I want to start talking. This is cool, look. It's got like the rods like Frankenstein up here, but on its head. Dev stated this is a love letter Ari and Silent Hill survival horror fans. I can tell. Yeah, this right here is very Silent Hill. Any chance of getting your stream Call of Cthulhu? What kind of game is that? Was it one that three sixty? Maybe I don't know a lot about that game. Man, I don't like this area. Can't open it. It won't budge. I need to force it somehow. Any other crowbar? No, I don't want to need yet, I don't think. Alright, I'm going to go back to the mirror. I, I really need to save. I already got hit once. If I die again, that's really going to suck. Yeah, I gotta get the other piece of a heart. Yeah. Thinking this investigate investigation horror game? It sounds interesting. Newborn room. Damn it, I keep turning around there because the camera changes. I gotta follow direction. He did tell me to go to the library. The waiting room. The only thing I wish, I wish on the map it showed you where you are in there. Private restroom. I haven't gone in there yet. What is that? Nope. Not wasting my ammo. Not gonna get me. Okay. Instructional sheet. Oh, look. Oh, look. Ta wow, I wish I would have found this first. Look. Tank controls right here. I love that. So cool. Very clever way to, to instruct players. Gotta be something else in here. Anything else? Literally, I'm just pressing X on everything. See, I thought if a room was still red, that means uh, you're not done with it. But this one's still red, and I don't see anything else in here at all interact with. I don't know. Call of Cthulhu is fun, although there's one total bullshit boss in there always. Especially if I were to stream it, there'd always be a bullshit moment. Oh, damn! have to fight. <laughs> yeah, let's use health. Oh, screw you. Right there. <laughs> I don't remember what that saving area was. Well, was it in here? Because this is where I started the game. 
I got two tapes. Get in the gym real quick. Nice. Well, I'll see you later then. <clears throat> Hit the enemies with the crowbar. Is it worth it though? Or is it like the Resident Evil knife that I never like using? I'd rather avoid them. Oh shit. There's two of them coming right at me. See, but you hit so slow, though. No, I don't feel confident with that crowbar. At all. Look at that. You're too slow. <sighs> I just want to get back to the save room. That's all. I'm not trying to mess with these monsters right now. That's the only way I could go. I have to go that way. I have to. Maybe it's like the plank in Silent Hill 2 able to stun lock everything. I remember that. Okay, I'm going to... Assholes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, is there one in here? He's real polite to let me read. Oh. There's something in here. Alright, let's read this while he's uh, harassing me. As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30 a.m. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing three elements on some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make sound. I did not want to be caught. At Mother's Tomb, my father sank to his knees and rested his hands on a cold, sculpted marble figure of his wife who began praying. Damn, six pages. Crowbar's worth it for sure? Okay, so... Alright, so shoot them till they fall and then hit them. Um, I was about to leave when Father stood up and approached the angel statue. Mother's marble tomb moved slowly to the side and exposed a narrow staircase leading the darkness. He climbed down the stairs. I hesitated for a moment. My legs not wanting to take another step, but was able to stand and follow him. Once inside, I heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water. A few moments later, I bumped into a ladder. I climbed down and found myself in a long stone tunnel covered in pipes and sewage. I saw my father's silhouette turning a corner and hurriedly followed. Before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. Each carried a giant hammer. My father joined the group and they received them by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appeared to be bodies covered in sheets. My father put on one of the disturbing suits. In my frightened stupor, I loosened a brick from the wall. It smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. I could feel their eyes turn to me as I fled back the way I had come. Their guttural voices screaming to catch me while they hit their hammers on the ground. Interesting. Okay. I didn't mean to get stuck in the corner. <laughs> oh my god. They're slow enough to get around for a little bit, at least. At least for now, I'm sure the enemies are going to get way the fuck worse. Oh, look! Ooh, found the other piece. What? I couldn't move! Did you see that? I literally couldn't move for a split second when the door opened. No, that was some BS. They got a completely free hit there. They got a completely free hit. That's some BS, man. Alright, I have two pieces of heart now. I should be able to combine them if it's like Resident Evil. Yeah, there we go. And now I can uh, go back to the fake little doll. I assume. Put it in there. Damn. A 
really gotta save. If I die now, that that's like 45 minutes of lost progress. Okay. There you go, little doll. That's creepy as hell. It seemed almost alive for a moment. Okay. Maybe now the patient on the other side is back. Yeah, these people have definitely played uh, Silent Hill for sure. Chess is closed now. What are you this buying? This is weird. Metal T handle. Dead card with five. Thank you. While aiming, you can jump back and dodge hits. I don't have to aim at all. Just keep running. I need my magnum. That's what I need. Better not come back to life. The only thing, when, do you guys know, the ones that played this, the red rooms, does that mean there's still stuff in there, or, or not? I don't like that being open. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's close it for now. syringes I really got to go back and go back to the save room I have to I just I don't remember which one it was generic scream This I have to combine with this clearly. All right, I remember seeing that socket. Is it that? No, it's not that size. That's not it. Nothing matters if I don't save. Oh no, th this. Oh yeah, fuck that. This is that one place. Save rooms through them with the two monsters? Oh, so it's in the other door. I'll just have to get around them. So it's past the waiting room. Sorry, I think I get past them. Here we go. I love how they're just patiently waiting for me. <laughs> Look right there. They're just chilling. Peace out, bitches. Not getting my ass. Woo! That's ample conservation right there. Damn, the visuals. I, I love the scenery. Alright, 
that's the main hall. Came from what? That door? Yeah, this is a big time Resident Evil room, especially with the staircase. And look, there's even something behind the staircase. Alright, now I gotta decide where to go. But first, I, I really need to save. So we're gonna have to find uh, where to do that. Resident Tormented Souls. Where are you taking her? Locked from the other side. New hat? I've had, well, technically, I've had this hat for like, for like a month and a half now, since Halloween Horror Night started. I bought it at Universal. I love it. And, and they sold all, I guess they sold all of them, because I stopped seeing this hat. And it's cool, because it's got like orange trim and pumpkins on the side. Um, they replaced it near the end of the event. They didn't have this anymore. And where it was, it was just a black generic hat that had this little picture on it. And it, it was like really shitty looking too, the quality. So I was like, I think they ran out of this hat and just made like generic versions. So it was really bad. So I bought this one when I had the chance. It was like 28 bucks and then I got like, um, <clears throat> I got like 10% off with my annual pass discount. I really should say I still don't see a damn Alright Now nah, he's slow enough the, the man doesn't even have legs Oh what the fuck Look at that Bye I know I'm gonna have to fight eventually. I'm just trying to delay it as long as possible. Oh, this is definitely save room music. This is gonna be a save room, I bet. This music sounds like save room music. Yeah, see? Is there a typewriter where I can save it though? Or uh, I guess a, what, cassette player? Ooh, shotgun shells. Unfortunately, I don't have a shotgun right now. Yeah, look, this is a save room. I know my Resident Evil. You shouldn't have come here. How spooky. Okay. We got our initial save. We're good. I feel okay now. All right. An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. This one feel like you're an imposter if you're not wearing a hat. Might be useful if anything happens to me. A clone. Ugh. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. Is this really worth it? The, the last question. thing I remember before losing <laughs> consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know what the I'd hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? Quite possibly. Am I going insane? Oh man, pitch black here. What the fuck? Where did I just get out? Alright, there's a shower room around the corner. Shower room is closed. So next room over is laundry. Oh shit! I thought that was a statue for a minute! Oh man, that wasn't fair. 
Actually, you know what? I want to see what happens when you die. Let's look. I just saved, so let's see what happens. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, you know, just to check. Let's see. Can we shoot this guy? Oh, no. I didn't. There. Free kill. You are dead. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, Resident Evil like there. All right. Let's go back to where we were. Let's not run into that monster now. So, laundry's closed. So, we need to go to public restroom. There goes the deathless run. That didn't count. That was on purpose. September 15th, 1970. I was sitting on a hill under a big leafy tree. How long was I there? I could smell the grass and hear the sound of leaves dancing in the wind just over my head. Small shapeless figures were moving side to side over my white dress. I could hear a weak voice traveling with the wind. I did not understand what it was saying. I did not pay much attention to it. it sounds like she ripped ass. A snake crawled up to me, hidden in the grass. It gave me no time to stand up, wrapping around my feet and climbing up my leg. I tried to scream, but the snake had already sunken its fangs into my flesh. I felt the poison burning its way through me. I winced in pain and let the snake fall away, lost in the grass. The pain got stronger and stronger, and the voices that were only whispers in the wind became clearer. Their sounds turned into syllables, the syllables into words. The pain worsened, and the sun, which was bright and warm before, became cold, surrounded by stainless metal halo. The words turned into people who surrounded me. One was holding my hand. Push, Maria, push. Did you do a no death run when you streamed the new Kirby? I don't remember, did I? I thought I died at the end boss or something. I don't remember. I wasn't intending to, but those, those Kirby games are dreadfully easy. Compared to uh, other games. Oh good, we got lights. Oh look, I'm, I'm gonna light that up up here too. Kirby light! You? How is his ass rolling up the stairs? Kirby and Alien from another planet. I don't use bubble gum. All right, I'm gonna have to fight that. Let's do this. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no, no, no. I can't see shit. Damn, how am I supposed to... There's no light. I might die here. Let me try. I'm going to test this out. I'm going to try to get around and see if there's a light source. Young Child's Diary. Late one night, Grandfather Noah came into the room. He was accompanied by two strangers wearing leather suits to cover them entirely. They used their smelly leather hands to cover our face, preventing us from crying out. We were left almost unable to breathe. They took us to somewhere underground and put our strange cross-shaped metal beds. Our hands and feet were tied in metallic bands. <sighs> A group of serious figures surrounded us, all of them covered by the same material holding giant hammers. In the center of the room was Grandfather, watching everything. Although he was not wearing a suit, his mere stare terrified me. He came close and laughed. My dear granddaughters, he said, it is time for you to find me for the fear of your destiny. Emma couldn't stop crying. She begged him to let us go, but he moved over to the door and ordered that suit of men to get us ready for the ritual. Everyone left the room except for one suited man. He walked crooked and slower than the rest. He smelled worse, too, the smell of sewage. He came to us with a small tray of tiny metal vessels. They were filled with liquids and aromatic oils. <laughs> you sell me essential oils. He began unbuttoning my blouse when Mother suddenly entered the room and hit him with a metal bar. He fell to the floor. She rushed over to free us, but the suited man got up quickly and raised a dagger behind Mother's back. 
I wanted to scream out to her, but I could barely move. Right at that moment, a shot put him down. Another man also wearing a suit had shot him from the entrance of the room. He came toward us with his hands raised and took off the part of the suit covering his head. It was our grandfather, Bertram. He worriedly asked Mother what she was doing down here without a suit. She said that she'd come to save us. Grandfather told her to take us to the surface and to get to the town port where someone would be waiting for us with a small fishing boat. Looks like a weird, uh, cult or something. I wonder if it was even worth going in that room. Oh god, he's right in front of me. Oh god. Alright, now switch to the crowbar. Man, there better not have just been a note in here. That would absolutely be not worth it. This game is so accessible, even the disabled can use the stairs. It's true. Is there really nothing else in here? I wasted ammo in here. I don't like that. Yep, don't see anything. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Uh, lighter, maybe? That should be able to burn that. What? No, I should be able to burn that with a lighter. That's bullshit. That's not realistic. A pipe on the attached handle. It smells like sulfur. Oh, that, that dude's coming for me. Oh my god. Running in place against the edges of the room looking for stuff to interact with. Yeah, man, those are the classic days. That's how you played Resident Evil. That's how you... That's how eventually you figured out what you're supposed to do. I love it. Let's examine this. Okay. Damn, man. I kind of want to go back to the save point because I wasted, I wasted ammo and health in the uh, in that bathroom, and I don't think it was necessary. We'll see. Alright, I haven't been downstairs yet. Or upstairs, come to think about it. Got so many different ways to go. More puzzles here. So far, I'm liking this game. This is cool. It, it very much feels nostalgic for me in the best ways and it it doesn't feel outdated either it feels like it's like a modern uh, a modern old school game shut tight so I don't think I can do anything here yet yeah cuz look there's a door here that's locked too all right so next step we do is go upstairs I literally just play these games like pressing X most of the time. Just every little thing you can interact with. Nymph untying her sandal. There's nothing to interact with here. Can only break it. Probably have to place something in her hands or something. 
God, look at this scenery, man. It's so cool. It's a creepy ass place. Sculpture of an angel comforting her grieving sister. Okay, let me check the other side and then we start checking the doors. Gotta go inch by inch in these rooms. Alright, floor's broken. What is this room? Oh, good. Now I can heal fully. I was on caution. Damn, I'm still on caution. That means I was really hurt. Fuck. Just like Resident Evil, like those rooms with the projectors, then you play something. And you're gonna see like experiments or something. A calendar ends on December 16th, 1994. Oh, look, locked from the other side. I bet you that other place with the rope leads back over here. I need a tape to put in there. A slot for a VHS tape. Man, kids will be playing this now and be like, what's a VHS tape? The hell do I put in there? The armor almost seems to be alive. Oh, hell no. No, I can't go there. That's, it's going to hit me. Oh, no. That's going to kill me. No, Man, I feel like I'm collecting a bunch of puzzles right now. <laughs> There's like a lot of stuff here for me to do. And remember. See, look. This is a big-ass area right here. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is the dude that was on the other side. Okay. I gotta kind of reorient and see where I am on this map. What What is this second? This is on the side. I think this is where you go to the library. Yeah, there's the library. I think this is the door in front of me that leads here. But I need something to put in there. Some disc. <laughs> How do I plug my iPhone to the VCR? Exactly. The kids will be asking now. Damn it. I, 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 let me go back. I, I don't trust those armor knights. You need the yellow, red, white, and... Ca oh, the, the composite cables. Kids wouldn't even know what that is today either. Because now everything has been condensed with HDMI. God, then we had Component 2 that had the white and red audio. But then you had blue, green, and uh, the white and red audio. And then you had the blue, green, yellow. Right? For Component. Behold my true form and despair! Yeah, as loud as hell. Okay. That was the meeting room I was just in. So I must come out this door. I have to like almost turn it. So if I go left, that's second floor corridor office. This way. Oh, fuck. I'm going to try crossing the knights. I don't want to. Oh, I can. I thought they were going to kill me. <laughs> All right. Second floor corridor. Ooh. What the hell? See, I don't want to waste ammo, but I wonder if I can hit that thing. Can I kill it? 
Oh, cool. <laughs> now, does it stay dead is the question. Shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fuck the other one up in that case. Sewing room. Uh, let me go mess the other one up. I know those statues are gonna do something in a minute. I guarantee it. We have some areas accessible here. This leads to... This is the library here. Damn, I kind of want to go back to the sewing room, though. Let's go to the sewing room first. Could look like a smaller room. And it's enclosed, so, yeah, we'll do that. Just please don't mess with me, statues. I, I, just, I, really, I really don't want them to, like, hit me. And there's an office over here, too. All right, let's start here. It's your favorite due to Edward Scissorhands. I found him tied up and chilling. I'd smack him if he came at me. <clears throat> William returns from his week-long trip today. I can see his car from my window, slowly drawing closer. I was unable to go with him, for I was not feeling well. What am I supposed to do now? What should I tell him? Probably nothing. One look will be enough. It won't be necessary for me to say anything at all. Hiding my face or staying silent, Hill, will only postpone the inevitable. Before I have the chance to sweeten my words, they will stab him with the ugly truth. He'll look at me and know. You lost the baby, didn't you, Maria? Tap X everywhere. We know the drill. You know what this game fe feels like? Anyone know? Do these developers, did they have anything to do with layers of fear? Because this feels like layers of fear a bit. Oh, see, there's a painting, too. I never understood the appeal of abstract art. I think I'm going to drop another save here. I feel like I made a, a decent amount of progress. How many tapes do I have? Four? All right, let's not be greedy. We'll, we'll drop a save for insurance purposes. I can see this game not sitting well with some modern gamers, though. Just because of the fact that, uh, with the... with the limited saves. Check this room. It's locked from the other side. All right, now we, at least we dropped a save there. Bloober team did layers of fear. They're doing Silent Hill 2 remake. I can't wait for that game. I'm genuinely excited about that. So glad Silent Hill. I just hope they don't fuck it up. But it looks like they're going to do a good job with it. You know, at first glance, the knocker is missing. Only those who know the beating heart of John Gibson's creation may enter. Okay, well, I cannot access this yet. You still listen in a heartbeat. All right. So, office. I want to get lost here. <clears throat> you ever play Nightmare Decay or Cry of Fear? I, I don't even think I heard of those. What are those, like zombie games? Damn, I feel like I have a whole list of shit I have to remember now. Alright, I gotta find, if I find a VHS, I know where to go. Like, now I'm trying to see where I've been and where I haven't been. So, I have, I have this, too. Uh, 
Um, all right, let's go back through here. <laughs> it's such magnificent knockers. Did I ever go in the library? I never did, did I? Wasn't there something in the way? I think that big monster that I didn't want to hit. Now I know I can hit them with a crowbar. Fucker. Alright, the son of a bitch get nailed. In a second. First I gotta reload this baby. This is why I don't play games like this too much to remember. It's a satisfying feeling though when you find an item and you go all the way back to where you need to be to solve a puzzle. I wasn't even sure I was hitting him. Stay down. Okay. I feel like I'm doing pretty good with the ammo situation, so. Is that a door? That's a window. See, realistically, like, I should just be able to take the lighter and, and just, like, burn that. Like, why, why can't I? Bamboozled. <laughs> Give it the Jason Todd treatment. Cold as ice. Although true. This is the public restroom. I already went in there. Personally, I'm not into nailing horrifying monsters with hook hands, but hey, whatever floats your boat. I, you know what? Some people are in some crazy shit. I'm not one to kink shame. I just state facts. <laughs> Tis all. See, this is why I didn't cross before. New member, Tactical Tony. Welcome to Legendary Hero. Thank you for becoming a channel member. Let me, let me give you some moderator status here. Was that 96? 96 members? Cool. Very cool. I gotta remember to put the poll up for the... Uh... Oh, see, I can't do anything in the dark. I can't even, like, hit. I'm going to do the poll tonight after the stream for the uh, 125 member stream. And then you guys can decide. See, look, there's no candles. What the fuck? I can't kill that monster if, if the area is not lit up. So I bet you I have to find candles to place there. I bet you it's an item I have to pick up or something. Like, why can't I just swing in the dark? Yeah, I see no candles. I gotta find candles. Maybe in the closet. Love the game. I'm happy to hear those devs make good money on this. We'll be doing another. Oh, they announced they're doing a sequel to it? Yeah, I'm liking it so far. I mean, this is the first time I played it. But it, it feels very old school. and I, It feels very nostalgic. I like that. Like, I feel we don't we don't really get games like this anymore. We really don't. 
Like now they would checkpoint you every two seconds if they made a game like this. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, where am I here? Okay, wait. Studio. What's this little symbol? Does that mean the door's locked? This little symbol right here? I think that's what it means, right? Not a sequel. They just said they're fans of the genre and want to continue making games in a similar way. Oh, I kind of like that better, though. Like they're just making a bunch of original games. That's cool. Because we need more games like this. Oh, I did not check over here. Something shining over there. The hell? Something shining on that. Right there is something shining. Why can't I get it? I wonder if I need my lighter to be able to see it. You guys are seeing this, right? Like, right on my waist. What is that? That's shining. What are your thoughts on the Silent Hill stuff coming out? I'm mixed. I'm glad new generation people will be exposed to the awesome story. But Bluebird team has been great. I mean, maybe Silent Hill will be what's up their alley, though, you know? I, I, I'm excited. And I think that's the best thing possible they could have done is outsource it to other studios. I don't trust Konami with that stuff anymore so just outsource the, the old old series and let other people make it i'm excited i'm looking forward to it. and i think silent hill 2 desperately needs to make it. it just in my opinion the original it just hasn't aged well at all it's very very clunky and hard to play now you need a certain item you don't have it yet oh so i can't get that Oh, son. come on, man. I couldn't see the camera was out of the way. I'm trying to get the camera to pay it over here. Always six shots. And then two crowbars. Stop! There you go. Don't mess with me again. Is there a reason she's got a 10 point cross in her chat? I think it's just a bow tie. Seems like a ribbon. That's those fixed game angles doing their job creating random spooks. Yeah. A and free hits for the bad guys. See? He got another free hit. <laughs> I, I was trying to get him in the frame so I could actually shoot him. Damn it. Damn, man. I mean, that that's classic fixed angle. Can't complain about it. I, I paid for it, though. Those syringes really don't do much. <laughs> like, in terms of health, they don't give me that much health back. I don't even know what I've checked and not checked here. Insert coin. Just give me a soda. I want maximum... What is that? Maximum soda? I think this is where I came from. I think this was the library, wasn't it? Do you think they'll kill off Sonic in Sonic 3? No. Not at all. They're not going to kill Sonic, you crazy? Unless they kill him temporarily and then use the power, the, the power of friendship to bring him back. Using the Chaos Emeralds. That's more likely to happen. 
A smashed statue of Jesus looks like it fell off the cross. I wonder if this is like possession, like religious kind of thing, or like experiments. It sounds like a mix of both. Okay. This is a weird area. I have a little chapel, like in a, in a little corner. Okay, there's a kitchen over here. Oh, look, there's a knife right there. Why can't I get that? That's a weapon. Okay. Tomato sauce. It's freezing cold. All right, so I probably have to put something cold in there that I don't have yet. <sighs> What's Tormented Souls? Looks like it's a fixed camera angles. It, it's an indie game. It's like a Resident Evil and Silent Hill style kind of game. Yeah, there's some fixed camera angles and tank controls if you want them. So it's really cool so far. I like it. You won't leave this place. Yeah, because I'm foolish. I would love to leave this place. Alright. Store? Is there a wheelchair person here? A bottle of nitric acid that could corrode metal over time. Okay. Uh, that thing's coming at me fast. I gotta go. How many times did I shoot that guy? Like eight? Enter disc to write a new keyword. I don't have a disc. My god, there's so much stuff to do. Because, alright, I'm sure I'm going to have to find the disc. I'm going to have to put the disc in here to write a new keyword on it. And then use that disc to open what, what was it, the library door? There's a million different things to do. It's very Resident Evil. Like, uh, like your your objectives start building up. Do you see how Dongle's going to stream a game dot converted in Symphony of the Night? The hell? Is it a fan-made one? Oh, I didn't see that. It's got to be fan-made. That's weird. I'm trying to get some distance here. stuck <laughs> he got stuck in the corner with his stupid ass wheels here ah, die stay down stay down monster no he hit me oh no I need health real bad now damn yep time to save next chance I get Power friendship is OP always in like anime style things. Characterized like everyone hold hands together and let's hope for Sonic's recovery. And then the Chaos Emerald starts swirling around him and he comes back to life in Super Sonic. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> Multiple times. You have unlocked the power of friendship. Fuck, I'm in real bad shape, man. I don't like it. I need health. An iron door knocker. We got the door knocker. I need health. I was just with a Constantine game where you can drink water and you get health back. Horrible shape. A battery can fit here. I don't have a battery. Looks like I need a million different things. I'm not gonna screw with any monsters right now. I, I need I need health. 
I need health and I need to save again. I got too close to that damn thing. All right. One thing at a time. Let's not get sidetracked. I got the door knocker, so let's go back to the library, I think it was. <clears throat> Only criticism I have for this game is it's very linear when compared to the original RE. Where you have options as to the order you post puzzles. Yeah, there's different orders you can do. That's definitely true. This it looks like I'm completely locked out of certain spots until I do specific things. I don't know if I should save. I just don't want to do everything that I already did all over again. I'll, I'll, I will hesitantly drop a save right now. Very hesitantly. I didn't want to, but. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I saw something. That's the statue. The figure seems familiar. It shows a heart. Huh. Cool. Was it this way? I think it was this way. Don't worry, when you get near the end of the game, they give out saves like crazy. That always happens to be Resident Evil. Like, I always conserve, 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 and by the end of the game, I have, like, thousands of bullets. Like, from a Magnum and a bunch of ink ribbons that I, I was paranoid about using. Where? I'm already starting to kind of familiarize myself with the, the environment. Just like Spencer Mansion. A little bit. If I keep going this way, I think I end up at the library. See that right there? That's the shower room. Oh, fuck. No, hold on. The door knocker. That wasn't here. That was another door. I don't even remember what door the door knocker was, what it was called for that room. I forgot what room that was. It might have been the archives. Yeah, it was the archives. I think that right there means key or locked or something. So best way to get there is through the service area on the main hall. Okay. So I have to go on the other side. <laughs> Big great time always. Dornarker was east side of the mansion. Okay, yeah, so I think it's there then. Where? So much clutter in this mansion. Is there a door here? I feel like Metal Sonic is gonna be the big bad of Sonic 3. I don't know. I mean we know we know Shadow is gonna be in it, that's for sure. How did I get to that room? Wait a minute. Because this room right here, this is... This is the service area. I was here. So if I make a right, go straight. Okay, go straight. Make a right. So you have to like look at it backwards almost like orient the way you are. 
And then the main hall. Here we go. I think it's the main hall. I hope Metal Sonic is Sonic 3. I've always liked Metal Sonic. They're cool if he, he like, transforms or something, and then him and uh, Sonic and Shadow have to, like, work together to take him down. In Sonic Adventure, uh, when they introduced Shadow, wasn't it, like, a big, uh... Like a genetic monster or something? Okay, this is... All right, here's the staircase. Let me see where I was. See, I think it was I think it was this one. I think. No, that wasn't it. It was on the other side. I don't remember if anyone remember if the door knocker was it upstairs or downstairs? It was upstairs, wasn't it? Yeah, it was upstairs. I thought. Yeah, it was this way. Meeting room. Here we go. All right, now now we're going. Hey, I saw you twitching. Better stay dead. Alright, we got the door knocker. Only those who know the beating heart of John Gibson's creation may enter. I thought I read a file about that. That name sounds familiar. See, I'm pretty sure I have to um, use the stethoscope to listen to a heartbeat somewhere. Oh, the statue. The statue from the x-ray, I bet. Let me Let me look at that. I bet you that's what it is, because there was a heart on it. It's got to be. Sculpted by John Gibson. Here we go. Fuck, how am I supposed to remember that? Do you want to spoil both? No, we'll figure it out. Try to memorize it. Does that stay recorded? How am I supposed to remember that? Think about it numerically. It was one, one, two, three, one, one. Let's do this. That's kind of a cool puzzle. That's very unique. Good thing I looked at that x ray, because I would have been walking around for an hour, like trying to figure out where the heartbeat was. 
Oh, where the hell? Where did I go? That's not what I was trying to do. Other way. See, I, I like the puzzles in this game. I, I definitely like them a lot more than the uh, <coughs> Silent Hill puzzles. Some of the Silent Hill puzzles I hate it. Especially, like, when you put it on hard. Oh, my Lord. All right, let me see if I get it. There you go. That's cool. Save room. I think I... I don't know if I should save. I mean, I'm in bad shape. So it might be a good idea. But I don't want to, like... Start using up all my shit. Awful torture machines. They appear to have been used. Haven't been used in a long time. Newspaper article. Oh, there's the girls. November 2nd, 1980. Yesterday afternoon, a terrible event occurred within the, the, the Wahlburgers mansion, more commonly known as Wildburger Hospital. Staff reported the disappearance of Dr. William Wildburger's daughters, Anna and Emma Wildburger. The police tried to interrogate Maria Morissette, the children's mother, who was found in a medically induced coma. Her doctor stated the unknown illness the woman is suffering from caused the coma. Dr. Wildberg is currently away on travel. Okay, guys. As this report is being written, crews continue to search the areas near the mansion. Our sources have informed us that frogmen are on their way to assist the search on the beach in rocky areas. Okay. Man, These I miss girls PT. girls are the same twins as those in the photo. The ones that will awaken the devil are ready to be... What is it? Sell... Can't tell what some of the, the letters the are. The ones that will awaken the devil oh, are ready, ready for, for their operation. Oh, it's different than what it says. Over there it says to be operated. It seems like the girls are being prepared for some kind of surgical <laughs> procedure. If I don't find them soon, something terrible might happen. The plaque says Anna and Emma. Gives me potential spoilers. Yeah, if it, I didn't read anything, but yeah, let's not do anything that hasn't happened yet. Because a lot of people haven't seen the game, including myself. Um, I just saw a box of nails, I think. There. I need health, man. Syringes. I need syringes. These girls, the ones, it seems, if I don't, the plaque says. All right, Anna and Emma. I feel like I'm going to have to remember that. Dude, where did it come from? Oh, look. Up. Oh. oh, great. Look, no bat. Oh. Oh, my God. So I'm going to have to find a battery, go back to that room all the way over wherever the hell I was to, I guess, charge the battery and then hook it up here so I could get up there. Man, there's a lot of backtracking here. I, I like it, but it's like, oh my god, I, I have a whole checklist in my head. Please, please. Oh no. Here we go. I gotta kill that dude. He's gonna kill my ass. Uh oh. Oh, he's coming over. Alright, real quick with the crow. <coughs> Last time I got hit because I, I used the crowbar too much on him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I shot, he was mid swipe. Mid swipe. Oh my god. I'm in real bad shape. ever hurt me again where am I dining room hallway this is so bad she's having cramps oh here's the library I only ever saw one episode of Walking Dead did not care for it Walking Dead I thought was a great show 
I, after like season six or seven, I started getting kind of bored, but the last season's decent. I think it's all right. I've started painting again. I was so afraid of the empty canvas, so intimate, so cold. Today I managed to overcome that fear. I painted from one side to the other, my brush wet with crimson paint. I did it with courage I did not know I had in me. The colors exploded on the canvas. The dead white became alive and slowly the canvas and I started to forgive each other. I was so focused that William caught me by surprise. He grabbed me by the waist and kissed my nape. You look radiant, he whispered in my ear. Kiss my nape? What's the nape? Look radiant, he whispered in my ear. I let my hair loose. The painting could wait. Is that your neck, the nape? Okay, so we have to break your base. Something. Oh, a little Skynet. We got uh, um, Cyberdyne systems over here. Airplane Annie Dot Hat Games. Uh, I had them on my uh, PS2 emulator. I never actually played them, though. Oh, my God. He's just chilling in here. I don't trust that priest. He, know, he knows more than uh, he's letting on. I'll trust you, man. It's up to some shenanigans. Guessing the nape of your neck? I, I guess. <laughs> Rogue, I will get to Resident Evil Zero someday. I will. Ah, You'll see. We meet again. Father, what are you doing here? Don't you see, child? I am eating some soup. God feeds my spirit. But I have to take care of my body. Oh my, what is this doing in my soup? Get rid of this thing, would you? This voice acting is amazing. I found some information <laughs> about the twins. I think someone means to perform surgery on them. I see. There is an operating room on the West Wing. I'll end up getting to RE0 before Who would you do may such be. A thing? I'm curious how you're going to feel about that game. I don't know, but I'm going it's to very, find uh, out. It's very, it's weird, man. A partial thread bolt made of steel? You said that operating room is on the west wing of the mansion, right? That's right. The operating room is on the west wing, on the second floor. Okay, west but wing, to get floor. there, you will need to restore the power to the electric lock that's on the door that connects that area. I'll see what I can do. Oh God. Thank you. God be... I'm in real bad shape, man. Fuck. I don't like being this hurt. So, all right, second floor west wing. I gotta remember that. But I, it seems that I can't really do anything over there yet. Please don't monsters. Oh god, my head's right in front of the dick. <laughs> I don't want that in my face. I was just checking it to see if there was an item. There was an item, alright. Oh good, look, shortcut. Cool. I always ask myself about each RE game I play how I'm going to feel about it. So far, I've enjoyed playing them. Yeah, I think with Resident Evil Zero, you're, you're going to have mixed feelings, I suspect. Because it... it it's a good game, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad game, and I don't hate it at all. But it's just, it, it, it's... It, it, it's like Metroid Prime 2 to me. Like, it's a great game. I do like it. But I don't really like to replay it. <laughs> it's it's weird. It's one of those games where it's like, oh, I don't want to play that again. But I do like it. But I just don't want to go through it. Metroid Prime 2, I've always felt that way, too. But yeah, I mean, sometime, yeah, I'll stream it sometime. Don't you worry. Oh, I know you'll be ecstatic once I do. <laughs> and you're going to see me mess up plenty of times. I'll leave some items somewhere randomly. Maintenance crew logbook. The West Wing's second floor fuse has blown again, and I've run out of spares. 
These things are giving me a headache. All it needs to do is pass electricity through. I'm sure I could find something conductive to the job, all right? Oh, this. That's That conducts electricity. All that talk about RE3 water puzzle being a bitch and I got past like nothing. You got lucky, Ozzy. You got lucky. <laughs> you, you just, you happen to get an easy combination. That's all. It's a horrible puzzle. You were supposed to spend hours on it. Can't open it. Yeah, see, look. Right here. That is conductive. There we go. You played Bayonetta 3 yet? I never even finished Bayonetta 1, and I have it. <laughs> I have the original 360 one and the uh, Xbox One like HD remaster. I'm not, I'm not ready to be fighting these monsters right now. I gotta do something with my health. <sighs> Alright, I've got a good amount of nails, so I, I, I guess. I'm, I'm not even gonna mess with the program bar right now. Let's just... Let's just, let's just shoot it. I can't take any risks at the moment. <sighs> post office? Why is there a post office in here? Oh, good. Save room music. I like the save room music. Oh, yes. Yes, look. I, I have been fine in the green, like, for, for most of the game. Hey, they're not going to give me a tape? They have to. Oh, thank you. They're pretty generous with the save tapes in this game, actually. Like, I don't feel like I'm running on fumes with them. Maintenance grew logbook. November 30th, Dr. Colin reported that no matter how many times he pressed the button to call the elevator, it didn't work. When I checked on it, I realized that someone had left an object blocking the elevator door, stopping them from closing completely. The buttons to call the elevator from the first floor aren't working. The elevator can only be called from the second floor. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really liking this game. I would put this game, I'd probably already put my game, this game on my top, top list of this year, but it doesn't qualify. This actually came out last year. Unfortunately, had I played it last year, this this would have been in my top 15. I'm pretty sure I would have put it on there already. What is going on here? This place is infested with nightmarish creatures. I'll be honest, I would actually like a Piers focused RE game. Piers was a good kid. I, I like need Piers. to be strong. I can't quit now. I've discovered His that a surgical Brad is also procedure different. is to be performed on two twin girls. <laughs> hey, I don't love Brad. I've never claimed that. I've just I hope I given him the benefit of the doubt, time. all right? There's something dark the guy going was scared. On. He wasn't something armed. Grim. He probably wasn't armed, all right? He had to go. But you know what? Maybe he was thinking about his friends. He's like, uh-oh, I got to fly away so I can rescue them later. See? Different perspectives, man. Different perspectives. You got to see it from Brad's shoes. A foul smell emanates from the body. Um, I don't want to go in there yet. Oh, God. Oh, look. I equals one? I can't interact with anything there. Okay.
Everyone loves Barry Burton. Everyone should love Barry Burton. Oh, look. I'm going to need another screw. I wonder. I wonder if I could take out the screw that I, I used on the other fuse box and reuse it over here. I don't know if I have to leave it in here. Let's see. No, yeah, I have to. So basically, what he, here's what I'm gonna have to do, I bet. Eventually, you're gonna make like a roundabout way to where you can get to what's on that side. You can get it when you go back around. And I'm gonna have to take this and uh, work my way back over there. I, I, I could see it already. Like, I'm thinking about how the map doesn't work. There's gonna be some door or something I can unlock and I'm gonna have to work my way kind of back over here to use that same fuse box. Or that screw, I mean. Got going here already? Yes, yeah, this is a save. two floors see that's blocking it though oh this that okay all right <laughs> oh hg fox thank you for the five five bucks for the goat barry burton I was gonna say we need another Barry centric game. I loved playing as him in Revelations too. The fact that he was a main character in it, it was like hell yeah. I love Barry. What are you buying? I know what to do. See, this is exactly what I was telling you guys. Now that the elevator works, what I have to do is this. Now I can access the second floor without the, the, the screw. So I'm gonna have to take, I'm gonna have to go up there, grab the screw, come down back here, and use the elevator to go back up and around to the other fuse box. I think it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Let's see. I just gotta remember that door. <clears throat> Got a. Uh, it was this way, I think. No, other way. Man, I like these puzzles. They're not like overly complicated, but you actually have to like. If you know Resident Evil and Silent Hill, you kind of have an idea of what they're what they're shooting for. If you played enough of the games, it, it, it's so cool. I'm just trying to remember if this was the way, though, that I went. I think it was. See, look. All right. Here it is. The only question is, can I get back? All right, see, look, here's what's gonna happen. See, now I can't access that door, but I have the elevator now. So I have to get back down to the first floor, use that screw on the other fuse box. And a door over here had opened. Yeah, that gate on the other side. Okay, yeah. 
Actually, I took the long way now that I think about it. I forgot this gate over here had opened, so I could have just gone through here. I took the long route. I'll admit I'm intrigued by this game. I like it a lot. It's really cool. It's definitely a survival horror puzzle game, which was what Resident Evil always was. Classic Resident Evil. See, alright, and now that I moved that thing, now I could take the elevator up and activate the the other doors. So I create a little roundabout passageway. Oh wait, but they did say you can only call it from the second floor though. Alright, let me go back up to the second floor. I think I have the idea right, but I have to work out the kinks. <laughs> you got trolled by the elevator just like I did? There's a gimmick? Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, otherwise, it would have been perfect planned. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> Has Avalanche Reviews played this game? It seemed like this type of game. I don't know. I haven't talked to Jared in a while since he moved to Japan, actually. I wonder how he's doing. I can message him sometime. now. I'm just trying to keep track of everything I have to do. It's so much. You said that. That's right. The operator. But I'll see what. Cut. What room did I call the elevator from? I'm still trying to figure out the map, man, because it's hard to tell, like... It's easy to tell, like, what room you're in, but, it, like, which way, like, you're facing and all that, still. It's weird. Get locked from that side. I like to see, it's fun figuring out these kind of puzzles, though. It really is. Let me put let me put the fuse here real quick. Let's see something. I want to familiarize myself with the layout of that that other room. I know what they want me to do. It's very obvious what they want me to do. Yeah, but going back to Avalanche, he would, yeah, he would absolutely love this game. No doubt about it. Behold my okay. true form and despair! Here we go. So you can only call it from the second floor. I'm trying to think. And it takes you down. It's interesting indeed. That was the uh, Westwind Corridor. This is Westwind Corridor. I can't open that door. This door is not open because of the fuse. Technically, I should be able to put this in here. It's metal. <laughs> so I should be able to, to run through the electricity just fine. Could you write it down, then move the bolt? That's what I tried first, but... You can only call the elevator from up here. So... Hold on, wait a minute. Let me take this down one more time. C, 
See, because the elevator's here. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. Hold on. Remember they did that note? Said something was blocking it? Look. It can't move it if it can't close the door. That's what the fuck I have to do. It just clicked. Now I have to go get the bolt and then come down here and the elevator will still be here because you don't need to call it if it's already, if it couldn't leave to begin with. Oh man. <laughs> the simplest solutions. Sometimes they're right in front of you and you just walk right by them. Let's see if I'm right about that. I'm pretty sure I'm right this time. It's gotta be the case. I can't think of anything else. Because the whole point was that the elevator is gone and you can't call it. But if the elevator can't leave... <laughs> big brain. Big brain gaming moment. Critical thinking. I just want to shoot things. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Let's see if that worked. Or if my plan falls apart and for some reason... The elevator's completely gone. Very cool. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing this like around eleven, and then next week we're gonna start up again, and I'm not gonna remember at all where I was, and I'm gonna be walking around lost for like the first hour. Yeah, here we go. Don't close on me. See now. Ah, now I could go up. And I have the screw. Hashtag a fuse. Did I say hashtag? I didn't even mean to say hashtag. Um. Oh, over here. AKA fuse, I meant to say. Electric! We have power! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I don't know why it's an hashtag. Like a 17 year old. Hashtag fuse! Alright. This game is fire! As the kids say. Okay. We're ready to go in the door. Oh no. No, no, they're harassing me now. What the hell's that? What the fuck? That's a new monster. I didn't even see that one. Asshole. This game, one thing I've noticed about this game, it's got a lot of ghosting. I noticed when... Oh! <laughs> I noticed when I use the crowbar, uh, you can see like a... I wonder if you can see it on stream. Yeah, there's some ghosting. He's still alive? Leave me alone, man. Dude, talking to Insta, yeah. Put some of those hash browns on it and send it to the internet. I died when Johnny Lawrence and Cobra Kai called the hashtags the hash browns. <laughs> Put those hash browns on it and send it to the internet. And then the kid was just like, uh, okay. <laughs> this whole thing looks like the Resident Evil 3 uh, hospital. Report about Tismuit Tiz tribe. Tismuit legends abound of the magical blood that courses through the veins of twins, allowing them to communicate with each other by thought alone. Some even claim that brothers and sisters could appear next to each other in seconds across incredible distances like Nightcrawler. It's not surprising that the first explorers to arrive on the island called such gifted younglings witch children. Unfortunately, seldom survived 10 or 11 summers once chosen for sacrifice with shit. However, the most striking tale is that of the nights when no moon was in the sky. 
the nights when the little twins would be sacrificed. The children would dance torch in hand around the tribe's deceased, while the remaining tribesmen extinguished their torches. With this ritual, the dead would walk the earth again, at least for one night. Halloween! Oh, wait, where am I? Anesthesia room. The body was badly burned. Well, that's not good. You want hard mode? There is no difficulty in this game. At least not none that I saw. You just hit new game and the game starts. So it's whatever uh, default difficulty it is. Can't be used with a shotgun. I, I'd like a shotgun already. <laughs> to be to be quite frank. This is the blood of the chosen twins. Oh shit. Anna and Emma. All right, let me go press that switch I walked by. Nope. Wait, I bet you I need the lights off or something, though. <clears throat> Elite, thank you for the $2. You are almost to 500 videos. Am I? I didn't even know. Where'd you see that on my video manager? I wonder if it's counting streams, though. Cause I've, I've been putting up some of the streams, so like... Then again, videos are under a different tab now. This body appears to have been operated on multiple times. It what are you buying? Who is doing this? Why can I turn the lights off in this room? There's got to be a reason for it. I like the shadows in this game. Like, the lighting in this game looks great. Alright, you know what? I'm turning the lights back on. What year is this game set in? I have no idea. That thing's gonna drop down. In some ways, I prefer it when there's only default difficulty. Yeah, I like that too, because I hate, like in Assassin's Creed, for example, the new ones, there's like a million different difficulties, and then you could choose like the difficulty of like the exploration separately and all that. I was like, just, just let me play the game. <laughs> Is that, just, just pick for me. Okay, this is where I came from. Yeah, I just wanted to verify that. Oh! I forgot he was waiting in there. Alright, do I have... Oh, I thought there was some lighting in here. Did I get hit? No, I didn't. I'm not going in there. I wonder if there's something in there, though. So many shotgun shells. Awesome. Syringe. Even more awesome. This disinfectant room. Alright, let me go in the observation room, which. I have to go around the corner. I don't like those knights. I don't trust them. Operating room. Wait, what's the observation room? That's the other one. That's that's around here. It's weird out this concept like a mansion slash hospital all in one. A pipe with an attached handle. It smells like sulfur. We we've, we've seen that before. Look. 
Oh, this is a shotgun? <laughs> a shotgun made from modified items. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, it's just one shell at a time, though, it seems. What in the hell am I looking at? Sorry, I've only been paying partial attention. Has he been hoarding ammo? What do you think, yes, man? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Always. Always. I will never not hoard the ammos. <laughs> Dead card 13, thank you for the two. Boomstick acquired. Although it, 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 it's, it's single there, barrel, buying? so it's kind of like a, a half boomstick. I think to qualify as boomstick, it needs to be double barrel at least. Father, what's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? So weird. What are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. What the hell? You don't see the man on the other side of the glass? My child. This place is giving you hallucinations. You must rest. Oh no, hell no! This guy's trolling me. I don't know what's real. The guy's right or there. What is a product of my imagination, Father. Let me tell you a story. Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. Talking about that tribe. One the night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and they sacrificed and twins. And the world was plunged into darkness. <laughs> Girl, you tripping? I don't see shit. The shame exactly of the tribe, those with special blood, danced around their dead, willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. That sounds terrifying. Hundreds of years. What was the point of that conversation? That, I already read about that in the note. That. Okay then. At least I have the comfort of knowing that I have a shotgun in emergency scenarios, which of course I will hoard ammo. Hey, the bots are here. Finally. <laughs> are you even allowed to use guns in this game? Yeah, I got a nail gun and a shotgun. Okay. All right, where haven't I been? Let's go back to the operating room. The dressing room. Let me go back to the dressing room. No, operating room. Happy 24th, 24th birthday, Superboy. Happy birthday. Let's drop uh, some happy birthdays there for Superboy. Happy 24th. I think about that age after that is when you stop caring about your birthday. <laughs> At least for me, it was. I think around 23 or 24, that's when I was like, when birthdays come, you just feel bad if you don't do anything, but you don't want to do anything at the same time. That's a window. So here's something I'm missing in these rooms. See, I don't know why it has me turn off the lights. There's got to be a reason. <clears throat> I wonder if it only turns light on in this room. Yeah, it's only in that room where it turns off the light. Damn, this music is, is, is menacing. Why can I do that? Alright, let me see what I have. I still have this acid. 
Nitric acid could corrode metal over time. I don't really have anything I need to use that with. And I wonder why I still have this padlock of all things. Doesn't seem like something I need. This is the blood of the Chosen Twins. Let me turn off the light one more time. Because there's nothing else in here. Literally just walk around just pressing X on everything. That appears to be out of like human anymore. Who's doing this? It's moving. I I think I know. I bet you have to make it dark. Let me turn off this uh, lighter. for a moment. I thought that thing was going to come alive. Why did it start moving? At least you're not wall hopping like a Doom 64. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Every two seconds in that game. I'm not leaving this room until I figure it out. It's definitely something in this room. I haven't played HD Doom yet. You know what I haven't played? Um, I haven't played... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Brutal Doom. What items do I have? I have the stethoscope. Let me try those. No. I wonder if there's anything I haven't checked yet. I feel like I've pressed X. Close, so very close. I feel like I've pressed X all over this room. No, I think this body's a distraction. It seems we've arrived at the ultimate puzzle room. Puzzle room. What about Brutal Checks Quest? I haven't. I didn't even know about that until the uh, AVGN review. That was a fun review. I like that one. Turning off the light, do anything in the observation room? It may be. I was actually going to check that next. I noticed this window here is right outside the observation room. So that's kind of the only thing left I haven't checked yet. I'm wondering if the guy with the candle is going to appear over there. Let's find out. And the only thing that's different now is that I turned it off. Wait, is that not next to the room? I thought it was. That's the room I was just in, right? That I'm looking at. Cold Deep Gaming, welcome. I haven't seen you around here before. Thank you for joining in. Apologize if you haven't, I missed you, but. That's the room I was just in, wasn't it? What's he doing? He's just walking around, being a dick. 
<laughs> it's so weird. It's like we're looking at it through a different time. See? Because look, this is what we were just observing. Well, whatever I have to do involves this guy, I think. Next game, Evil Nun PC game. What's Evil Nun? Is it like from The Conjuring? See, I don't know if this body on the table is just a big distraction. During Night Spoon, Yacht Rogue. I think I know what to do. I think it just clicked. You notice the body started moving. I know what to do. You notice the body started moving when I was walking around it. Now let's look at the observation window. Hold on, this just clicked. Look at the observation window. The guy's got candles, I have a lighter. And he's just walking around the body over and over. And in the notes, it said they did a ritual like that. So I have to do the same thing. He's walking counterclockwise around that body. So I got to walk counterclockwise around the body. I think that's what it is. Let's see. Oh, if that's the case, I'm going to be real satisfied. <laughs> Your live stream liked. I appreciate that. Thank you. I bet you that's what I have to do. That's why you have to turn the lights out. It's got to be by candlelight, hence my little lighter. All right, counterclockwise. Let's see. See, he's starting to move. He's moving more. There we go. That's it. <laughs> Are you sure you don't actually love those? I love good puzzles, all right? Not stupid puzzles like the electric circuits and saw. Oh, shit. All right. Now we got a big monster. That was a cool puzzle, man. This, yeah, those kind of puzzles are very creative. I like that. You knew there had to be meaning with that observation room, dude. I know I should probably use a shotgun, but I want to save the ammo. So I'm going to hit that guy with my weak ammo. There's no such thing as a good puzzle. I don't agree with that. They're good puzzles. I do agree that there's more bad design puzzles than well. Fuck, I got too close. Crowbar time. Nope. <laughs> nope. One shotgun. Let's try it out. Oh! Damn! Badass, man. I like this game. Alright, there we go. The puzzles in this game are very fun to figure out. Yeah, I'm enjoying them. An old scalpel. It is very sharp. Okay, so now we can cut stuff. I assume now I could cut that uh, that rope. That for some reason you can't burn. Makes no sense. He takes three shotgun shells. That's all he uses. I'm not going to use three shotgun shells. Too much. Too wasteful. I think this is a good time to drop a save. actually made some decent progress there so yes I will drop a save in this room not in this room I haven't checked this room yet might be a bad idea actually 
Okay. That shotgun is powerful as hell. I'm gonna use that sparingly. That is a very powerful shotgun blast. I like it. <laughs> he launched his ass, right? Alright. This is the one room I was avoiding. I wanted to clear it. Oh, yes. God for morphine. Gonna go catch up on the Netflix later. See you later, yes, man. Thanks for hanging out. Another diary. These diaries are actually helpful, too, with the story. Because I knew about the ritual from reading the note. <laughs> so I realized you have to do that. Maria and sister are having a huge celebration for our little girl's fifth birthday. Even my stubborn father joined us. It appears the girls have changed them in a good way. Everything would have been perfect if it were not for Noah, Maria's father. His cold stare makes the girls uncomfortable. And the crude way he treats Maria makes me uncomfortable. If the old man thinks he'd keep abusing my wife as he did when she was a child. Or dares believe he could do the same thing with his granddaughters. He is mistaken. I will protect my wife and daughters from anyone who would seek to do them harm. There you go. That's what you do, man. You have wives and daughters and someone hurts them. You beat that ass. Alright. Now this is going to unlock a door on the other side. Oh. Cool. Alright. Now i got to remember where that one room was. With the, uh, the floor, the, the little floor panel. I think it was on the first floor. Let me see where this goes. I, I don't remember. It might have been this, this floor. I still feel like there's areas here, because look, like, there's areas here I haven't, um... Oh, you know what? Look. Why can't I turn the lights off here? Or were the lights... Hold on. Never mind. I think the lights were off when I got here. And I turned them back on, I think is what it was. Okay, see? I gotta remember this area. Because that's that disc. I'm gonna have to rewrite that in that one computer, I believe. Which... I do not remember where that computer is at all. It's fun though, cause like 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 an old school Resident Evil, like you 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 very slowly kind of start memorizing the layout of of the area. This is a really well designed game. It's really really well designed. Like, even the puzzles are very intelligent puzzles. I, I, it, it actually makes you think. Like, with the heartbeat sensor one, that actually made you think. Because you got to get the door knocker, then use a stethoscope, because there's a heartbeat inside the statue, and you know that's a statue you have to look at from the note. Like, there's a lot of thinking involved. Usually, I don't like to think in video games. <laughs> but here, here, it's so well designed that I don't, I don't, I don't mind it. I like it. I know what room I have to go to, and I just don't remember where the hell it was. At all. It wasn't here, man. Where the hell was it? You guys remember what I'm talking about? It was the hallway that had the little, uh, the little, the little square, like, opening. But there was a rope on it, and I tried to burn it, and I couldn't burn it. That's what I'm trying to find. <clears throat> it wasn't here. It wasn't here. I think it was on the other side of the building. See, and here's the thing with the battery. I gotta, I need, so, okay, God, I gotta remember where this room is, too. Because I'm eventually gonna find a battery, I'm gonna have to bring it here to charge it. And then I gotta find my way back to the library. Alright, one, one thing at a time. 
Calm down. Everybody just relax. <laughs> One thing at a time. Just gotta get back to where I was. Do I need a scalpel when there's a huge butcher knife back there on the counter, right? There was a big-ass butcher knife. That's hilarious. I could have just grabbed that. Not even. Look, I even have a... Uh, I don't know. I'm sure a crowbar would have even done the trick. I could have pried the thing open. It's just a little piece of rope tying it together. You gotta throw logic out the window with these games sometimes, though. I guess. I'm assuming that's what it's for. It's It's gotta be, because they go out of the way. Like, look, it, it goes out of the way to explain. It's very sharp. And what do sharp things do? They cut. Therefore, it's safe to deduce that it's for cutting rope. Assuming I could find uh, the damn room. I just don't remember where it was. If it's not here, it's... Oh, you know what? I think it was over here, actually. I think it was over here, and then I cut a left. It was here. It was right here. There we go. <laughs> the butcher knife was pre-rendered, and the scalpel was fully rendered. Yep. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Let's see what the hell's down here. Oh, man, there's monsters here. Boiler room. Oh! Oh, no, that guy could go down with a nail gun easy. One. And done. There. Beat this game shortly after it came out. The soundtrack sold me for months. Great callback to the OG classics. Yeah, I do like the soundtrack. It's very ambient. It's got that RE1 remake feel. Someone was living here. Uh-oh. Lisa Trevor. Oh my god. Look at that painting. Terrible thing. Oh, good. The more medical supplies, the better. Hey, Severe, are you still here? I'm wondering how far he got in the game. I think he left. See if it's anything important. No. One of those spam messages where someone is trying to buy my house and it's a name I don't even recognize, an address I don't recognize. <laughs> I get those spam texts all the time. I don't even know. I don't even know how they have my number. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! I gotta turn that on. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Ah, oh, never mind. I can't even attack him yet. I had to take the hit. I had no choice. Let me use the shotgun. And then a crowbar.
<laughs> I think it glitched out for a moment. <clears throat> Should see I'll check out the replay at school, just pop it in for a second. Look, you're at school? What time is it where you are? Well, I'm East Coast, so I know. If you're West Coast, you're probably at school. Got the fold how you like it. Hated mine with a passion. I love my fold. It's the best phone I ever had, honestly. I love it. Cause I'll be like editing on my computer and I'll be watching like YouTube videos on the side and I'll just have it like literally just folded like a little display next to me. It's really convenient. Maria has lost another child. This is the third. I do not know how I find the strength not to falter, but I must be strong for both of us. Maria's condition worsens by the day. Her body may be damaged, but it's her mind that worries me most. She says not a word, and her eyes have stopped reacting when exposed to light. She no longer recognizes me and startles when I draw close. Oftentimes, she's so disoriented, she screams and breaks everything in her path. I can stop her only with an injection. I know that Maria, my Maria, is somewhere inside that damaged body. She worsens. Today, I witnessed an awful sight as I entered her room. She stood in a pool of blood, lashing her own back with a whip. I grabbed her by the wrist, but she fought back while screaming at the top of her lungs. I called in a paramedic to help me sedate her and put stitches across her entire back. How could she do this to herself? What goes on inside her head? At least tonight she will sleep soundly. By God, what have I done? Maria, will you ever forgive me? Probably killed her. See you later, dead card. Herbert Boo wants to buy your house. That racist. I couldn't believe when you sent me that clip and I heard my name. I thought that was so funny. Creepy ass suits, man. They look like the suits from the cult in uh, Silent Hill Homecoming. Okay. Oh, that's some scary shit. My god. Okay, that looks like a dangerous ass tunnel. Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. There's several things to check. Nope. The hell is this? Yeah, exactly what I thought. The hell is this? The moment of the game was unexpected yet funny surprise, yeah. I had to look that up. Apparently Fabians were some kind of like socialist group of some sort I've never heard of them it's like a something called like Fabianism I was like oh shit I gotta subscribe to that that uh that that political uh, belief system then it's my name hold on man it's camera fix camera in these closed environments like sometimes it takes me a moment to like orient myself Did I come from here? A small metal dial. There are symbols around the edge. Huh. You have your own political group, right? Vote for me. 2024. I'm just kidding. I would never want to be president. You know how horrible of a job that is to be. Half the country is going to hate you no matter who you are. <laughs> it's probably the worst job in the world being president of the United States. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> First jump scare. Finally, there's a jump scare. Smoking Silent Hill. It, it's Silent Hill and Resident Evil fused together very much. Outstanding man, welcome. Yeah, it's a really good game so far. Okay, there we go. There's candles finally. Um, oh god. Oh you want Oh, come on man, you have to spit at me? 
It's not right. I gotta use my first aid. Like right now. What a dick. He hit me. Man, I can hear them, but you don't know where they're coming from with those uh with those angles. Damn. getting hit a lot right now. It's not good. I'm gonna have to save. Next time I see a saving point, I'm taking it. I need to. Vote Ozzy 2024. Vote for me as a vote the trash. I mean, I'll take out the trash. Oh, that reminds me. I'm glad you said that. Tomorrow's trash day for me. <laughs> I haven't taken out my trash yet. Oh, look. There's a battery symbol. Could there be a battery around here? Ooh, look. That water's electrified. Can't go there. Where am I? I'm still in this, like, basement. Medical report. Of her two twin baby, oh, this is 1916. Miriam Morissette in the process of delivering gives birth to her first baby, Noah. But unfortunately, the other twin, Methuselah, passed away as soon as the umbilical cord was cut. <sighs> At that moment, the cause of his untimely death are unknown. We hope the autopsy will give us answers. seeing the symbols on anything. So what is this game? Is it Resident Evil Field? Stark, you'd like this game. You would. Uh, it's very... It, it's basically combined the old school aspects of Resident Evil and Silent Hill together. And that's, that's essentially what this is. It's a very good game. See, there, there's a battery or something. I bet it's on the other side and I have to disconnect it or some shit. Question is. Oh. That looks like a door. Doesn't open though. See in here I can't do anything with yet. That's shut tight. Can't go there yet. This is the main hall area. Where, where did this take me? Main hall. I feel like I didn't fully explore this area here. Let me go back. If I did, it is leading me back to the main hall. Yeah, this place here is kind of a little labyrinth, in a way. Let me check every nook and cranny. I keep getting turned around.
Okay. Okay, that, that, that was the door that was locked. So I can't go that way. through here. Nowhere to go here. There's that jump scare that got me. That's where I got that little ring thing, whatever that is. All right, let me go. Let me go back over to where I was. I saw something glowing. At least there's less monsters bothering me because I killed them. This is the locked door. No, that's not the locked door. That's the one I unlocked. That takes me to the main hall. See, so basically... What I have to do... See, I got to shut off the power going here. So that's gonna be our next goal. Who made this game? I it was an indie developer. I forgot their name. They had it at the beginning on the title screen. Okay. I I need to go save. I haven't saved in a while. And if I die right now, I'm not gonna remember where I was. What progress I made. So let's drop a save. <laughs> if I can remember where I save. The studio. Alright, let's go save in the studio. I should be safe in this area because I think I killed all the monsters. Um, studio. That's the restroom. Studio was up here. Is that the studio? Yeah, this is the studio. Damn, I only have two of those save tapes now. I need more. I don't know what just happened. There was a dead creature lying on an operating table. It had blades for hands. After circling the yeah, body three voice times, it rose and tried to kill me. I found an old scalpel. The priest told me it would have been used in the basement morgue. I should find some leads about the girls there. All right, progress. Man, all right. Did that already. Was it? I'm trying to figure out what this was. Looks like a little insert I could put on something. Do you guys recall seeing any any uh, any hole like this? I don't remember seeing one like this anywhere. And we still got plenty of locked doors and places to explore. <gasps> Crap. Forgot about you. I can't light this though yet, so I can't do anything about that guy. Looks like maybe dial for a padlock or something. Yeah, it's like a weird little ring almost, but not a ring. How do I get back? Go through here. The guy, the same room, the save room is so calming. You can get away from all the chaos of the monsters bothering you. Alright, where am I now? Kitchen, closet, store. Th 
this statue I don't think I can really do anything with. I don't have a coin for the soda here. <laughs> Thought maybe I'd get lucky there. This is a Tetris. Why why is this Tetris? Wonder what you need for these little doors. Oh man, Puzzle City. Yeah, this game's got a lot of puzzles. Thankfully, I don't hate them though. Like they actually uh, are fun. They're, they're decent little puzzles. I wonder if I, you know what? I haven't been back this way in a while. The first area of the game. Maybe I should check this area. It's been forever. I don't know if I need to come back here, but I feel like there were doors closed over here. Well, we're going to find out. So my boss couldn't work next Wednesday and Thursday, and he's like, why? And I'm like, because the U.S. military needs me for processing. Oh, there you go. What are you going to say about that? <laughs> Other, like, oh, well, we still need you to come in. Sorry, dude. <laughs> See, I hate that. Those monsters can get you right at the door for just a split moment. Can't stand that. Well, I just saved, so if there's nothing over here, I'm just going to let the monsters kill me and reload the save before this area. Because I got hit. Alright, private restroom, dentist room. That's where I woke up. dentist room I can't get to there's a bunch of crap in the way so I have to get there from the other side I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything over here this is more of an exploratory uh, part right here oh look oh Look at this. Power symbol. I, that might have been when I turned the power at the beginning, though. I don't need to. I don't know if I need to do this again. Well, we're going to find out. All right, let, let me take care of this guy. He, he's been harassing me long enough. <laughs> he hit me. I'm in bad shape. Trophy. I'm in real bad shape, actually. Morphine. I don't know if I needed to do anything here again. I might be wasting my time coming over here. And health. That's the morgue. It's locked from the other side. The lighting is excellent. Yeah, the lighting is one of the best things about this game. It's very well done. See, this is where I turned on the generator originally. So, yeah, I, I don't think I had to come back here. The floaty skirt is a bit off. Yeah, it is very floaty.
At least this will clear us, like, process of elimination, right? I missed those nails the first time I came through here. There's nothing here I need to do. Like I said, if I didn't need to come this way, I'm just going to let them kill me. Let me go up here. Okay, that's explored. Love those camera angles so Silent Hill, yeah. Let's see, look, we still got this here. These weird little symbols. Interesting. That's the pharmacy. I'm assuming I gotta come back here way later when I have a different item. Cause like this doesn't go here. Probably plugs in there and I have to mess with the symbols. So there's gonna be some backtracking later for sure. 100%. All right, let's go back to the other side. Whatever I have to do is not gonna be here. It's gonna be on the other side. And then let's go back to the dental room. See if I miss anything over here. See, that's where I got the heart. Yeah, there's nothing here. I'll let them get a free kill. Here, kill me. I saved right before this part, so I want to get back to where I was. There, free kill. Anyone interested in this game that's not used to these kind of games, just know there's no checkpoints. <laughs> you have to manually save with uh, tapes. Alright, what haven't I checked? So, we know whatever we need to do is not on this side. We know that. See, that's the generator room in the basement. God, I know what I have to do. Hey, whatever I have to do is with this. What is this? I had to have seen something with a symbol. Or with this. I, I feel like I've seen something with this insert. And I don't remember there. Or I don't remember where. We're looking at 12 hours playing with no saves. I don't know how long this game is. I said I never played it. Let me jump back over here real quick. This kitchen's over here. Like GameCube? Re are you asking if this is like GameCube Resident Evil 4? If you are, no, it's not at all. using random shit. I wonder what I have to put in the freezer. Well, and I know I don't have anything that goes in there. Interesting. Okay. Got my slice of cake and ice cream. What are we doing now? Nice. Now we're trying to figure out what to do with uh, this little thing. I found a small metal dial with symbols around the edge. And I remember seeing the shape somewhere. So I'm assuming I have to insert that in something, but I don't remember where the hell it I, I, I'm not even gonna pretend to remember where I saw that. We'll find it. Oh, I gotta remember this room. Hold on, what room is this? 
the store on F1, Floor 1 West. I gotta remember the store where the computer is, because whenever I get a disc or something, I'm gonna have to rewrite it there. This is... Okay, in the closet, we gotta remember this too. Closet. So we gotta remember the stores of the computer, closet is for the battery. Inevitably when I get the battery. I go for Sonic's large cherry milkshake. I, I love milkshakes. But they're terrible for me. Every time I have a milkshake, like <laughs> such a late at night, like, woo, it's bathroom time. I might be lactose intolerant. I really have no idea. But I, I, I suspect it's possible. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to go. Let me take the elevator real quick. Just to see. I'm going to use process of elimination here. See what rooms. Uh, what rooms I haven't fully explored. I wonder why some of these rooms are color-coded, because I feel like some of them I've checked everything and they stay red. I thought they'd clear out and turn green once they're all fully, like, done. I don't know. See, I still don't know why this little thing is shining. Maybe it's just that I can interact with it. And I've had this acid forever. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, man. I thought I had to, like, melt, melt that or something. The room has a lot of clutter. This whole place is cluttered. <sighs> no one cleans. <laughs> no one cleans here. Disgusting. All right, we're going to check the first floor thoroughly here. I think I need to go to the second floor, though, but let's check this area. Just to uh, get it out of the, the uh, way. The restroom is where I came and I wasted my time, I think. Nothing here. Except a monster waiting for me. What's your character's name? I think her name was Catherine, right? Kind of generic, but... There's Catherines of the world. <sighs> see, in this area here... See, there's an area here I can't get to. Because this, I have to be able to light it somehow. But there's no candles on it. So I probably need to find some candles and put them on there. Would he donut cat? You want donut character for everything? <laughs> See, but look, I can't get past that part because there's a monster here. And I can't hurt that monster in the dark. <laughs> Unless I can. <laughs> no, see, I can't. All right, so we know where we can't go. So eventually the game will push me to where I can't go. So I can't go there. This I've already been in here. Okay. It does remind me of D on Sega Saturn. D, I don't think I've ever played that. There was a Dreamcast game I played that was like four discs. I thought uh, I think it was called D2. I think it was D2. I don't know if it's related to that one. Alright, let's go to the top floor. Whatever I need, I don't think it's here. I don't believe. 
feel like at some point I'm gonna get a key that's gonna unlock a shit ton of doors. Alright, did I miss anything on this desk? Alright, upstairs we go. Donut Chris Redfield. He, he works out too much to be done it. See, we still need a VHS tape for that. Have I killed all the monsters? I think I have. I, I think I'm a, a fairly safe. All right, meeting room. See, that's the one I need uh, the disc for. That leads to a bedroom, a penthouse, and children's room. If I'm reading the map right. Am I? Hold on. I just came out of meeting room. Yeah, that's the bedroom. Make a right. This was the library, and I. I could get in there, but. Those knights were shaking, I know. They come to life a little bit, it seems like. Oh god, I didn't see that syringe before. Seeing in the library, I probably have to get to that second floor, however. That's what I need the battery for. Because it's going to hook up there. So I know I can't do anything with that yet. I'm telling you, the list is growing. I should have to remember for next stream. Okay, in here. Dining room. Have I been in here? Let me take care of this little man. It's a little monster, dude. Damn, yeah, why, why does he always get so close to hitting me? I don't like that. There. Alright, he's out of the way. Now I can explore calmly. Too much clutter, one problem I see for this game. Well, that's why you gotta walk around, press X on everything. That's how you know, like, what you can interact with. Cla classic Resident Evil style right there. Seeing this, that little slot is weird. I'm assuming there's a key that goes in there, and then you have to press a combination of buttons. Although I don't really know what they mean by this. Okay. I'm literally checking every single room. Back to the main hall. Did I go through here already? That's where I came from, yeah. Alright, dining room hallway. Got little Dick McGee over here. This is where I needed the fuse. Which I don't need anymore. Gotta be around here somewhere. All right. Uh... 
See, there's that little indentation again. What is that? Movie on Tubi called Blood Shark. It's literally Jurassic World, but instead of Indominus Rex, it's a shark. That's interesting. They've made a lot of shitty shark movies. A lot of them. I love them, though. See, I, I gotta be, have to use the acid for something. I feel like I haven't used the acid. I, I've been having it for the whole game. I haven't used on anything. See, and this room's already resolved. Because th this is the one with the... Uh, with the freaking guy. How did I miss that? Those nails before. Room. No. Disinfecting room. Damn, I might have to look this one up. I didn't want to do that, but I feel like I'm I feel like I've looked everywhere. How did I get to the uh, I forgot how I got to the room with um it was downstairs. Main hall. Let me go back down. Down, please. I think the key where I need to go is going to be downstairs behind... Uh, down here. You know what? Just in case I need to use the elevator, I'm going to keep that right there. Screw you. This way we go. So much shit I have to remember. God, the shark looks like a PS2 model. I gotta see that movie. There's a lot of really weird, shitty shark movies, and I love them. See, look, this got little indentations. We need three different things that could be placed there. All right, let's go back in here. It's gotta be over here. All right, where am I? All right, there's something all the way over here. I'm just gonna follow the map real carefully. See, that looks like a door. It's not though. Let's go to the very, very end. See, right there, I can't cross. Okay. So you gotta read the map. You have to. Or else you'll never get you'll you'll never be able to get by in this game. Alright, let me go all the way to the end. There's a room. This is gonna be over here. Severed hand. Well, I can't do anything with a severed hand. That reminds me of zombie ass toilet of the dead in that movie. When a girl's taking a dump in the outhouse, a bunch of zombie hands are like grabbing her ass. <laughs> it's such a dirty movie. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, I did not make that up. Uh. Zombie ass toilet of the dead. A, a Japanese classic film. <laughs> Amazing.
I feel like I missed something in the boiler room. Can you turn something off to cross that water? No, I know that part. That's the obvious part. What I'm trying to figure out is like what, how to get to it, which I'm assuming I, I missed it. Because it's down here, and this is the boiler room, so I'm assuming... I've checked everywhere else. It's got to be through this area somehow. There's going to be some generator or something I have to turn off in this area. And I'm sure I've walked by the area. And I feel like the boiler room area is one of the ones I did not explore that much. So I suspect... That's where my answer lies. It's something you found already earlier? See, because another thinking another thing I was thinking of was the generator at the beginning, but I didn't think I had to go all the way back there. That's a far ass walk. Shit, that might be that. How would I, oh my God, how would I even get back there from here? I'm trying to think. If I even can turn off that generator. Oh, you know what? I know what you're talking about. It's the one where I had to, um... It's that puzzle. Where I had to, uh, move the, the, the pressure to 10. That's why I could turn it on and off. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. There's a shortcut here. Hold on. I gotta... Hold on, I'm trying to think of the pathway. I'm going to cut through the main hall. Okay, I think I know where to go. Turn off the original generator. Then I got to go through the main hall service area. And go through there. Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I got to think about this path. I think that's what I... I'm like trying to think of the, the, the route in my head here. There, okay, wait, wait, wait. Straight here. I gotta go straight here and go underground over here. Oh my God, this is getting complicated. I'm like trying to think of like three or four different things to do at the same time, but I, I gotta, I gotta slow down, take it one step at a time. All right, the first thing I gotta do is turn off the generator. No matter what. That's number one. If I can. I think it was over here, right? With the pressure. I think it was here. Oh, I forgot. I let this guy... He's not going to bother me again. Thankfully. That nail gun's pretty good. Might be late to find this out. The Castillo Protocol. Josh DeVille plays the protagonist. The what? I don't, I don't think I know what that is. I don't think I heard about that. Oh, Cal your Callisto Protocol. The game. Josh DeMille. He's in that? I haven't been keeping well with too many news on that game because I, I want to kind of go and blind to it, but I'm excited about that game. Let's see, right here, the question, if I turn it off though, I wonder if it's going to prevent me from getting back. Well, we're going to find out. Now everything's going to be dark again. Man, I, ho I, hope, I hope this is the right thing to do. Because it's kind of a... 
a rigmarole of, of walking around all over the damn mansion. I thought I was done with this area, but apparently not. No, I gotta go back. The water in this film CGI and people are floating in nothingness pretending to swim. That's awesome. Excellent filmmaking. See, all the electronic locks are closed now, but can I still go this way? I think I can. Right, let me haul ass over here. Wait for me. I think since all the locks are already open. Yeah, see, this is it. I think this is the right way now. And then the, uh, what did I say? The service area? I gotta go back here now. So you're making progress one inch at a time. It's just dark now is all. This place doesn't seem like such a maze when you walk around the same places over and over. At least. I hope that generator affected this bottom area now. In theory, I believe it should have turned off the electricity in, in the other area. I hope. Then I can find out what this little dial I have is for. Eventually. Love Days Gone. I gotta finish Days Gone. It's such a good game. It's so long, though. Like, I felt like when I was really going in hard on that game, I felt like I was playing it forever. It just kept going and going and going. Very, very long game. See, I, I think now I could cross the water. That would make sense. What way was it? I think it was down this way. Okay, it's not electrified. That was it. Thank you. That turns off the electricity. Now I gotta turn it on again. The generator, eventually, I assume. And the more... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, look, there's like a little baby or something floating in there with two heads. Oh, this is weird, man. I don't want to get lost. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, see? Now, damn, the way this all connects, it's crazy. Whoa, look, they're moving. Oh, man. Let, let me go turn the power back on first. I feel like some shit's gonna go down. I'm assuming this leads the way back. Let's see. That one was a little more obtuse. They put a little picture of a generator right before the electrified water, but it's not much of it. Yeah, it, which, it, you know, it makes it obvious it's a generator, but I assume there was another one somewhere. I didn't think it was that one all the way from the beginning of the game that connected to this. Makes sense, though. And still, you can easily interpret it a different way. At least now there's a shortcut that kind of, you know, connects it all back together. 
Damn, still up nice. Yeah, we'll probably go for like another 20 minutes or so. Okay, power's back. Let's go. Yeah, but using process of elimination, I mean, like, eventually that's the only conclusion you'd be able to come to is that generator. Because there's no other one. There's literally nothing else that, that, that you'd be able to do. I'm going to push this thing, although I don't want to. Blood is seeping out of the door. I'm not going to open it. What? Okay then. Okay, look, let's uh. Where the hell is this leading to? I feel like I'm getting off track. <laughs> But little icons bar names random. They're random. Yeah, if if you don't, oh, you're talking about the member ones. No, they change after. There's one month, two month, three month, and then six months, and I think a year and two year. They they change the little umbrella ones, the one month one. So yeah, they'll they'll change as you stay. As as long as you stay a member, they'll keep changing for uh, that period of time. Here. Pass away during medical procedure. I hear you, but I don't see you. There you are. I might be able to get by without killing this one. If he stays slow. The words have worn away, I can't read them. The hell? I'm gonna have to kill this dude. He's gonna, he's gonna keep harassing me. I've located my father's secret laboratories. They were hidden behind a secret passage in the morgue. The experiments are working. I was able to replicate Maria's condition by injecting her blood into a dying man from the hospital. I declared him dead on a medical report. No one will notice passing. That's messed up. He's begun to show the first symptoms. If everything goes as planned, I'll be able to administer the first answer before long. I venture into the forest searching for something. Anything that could lead me to my little girls. But as usual, I found nothing. At dawn, I returned to the mansion and paralyzed in front of the door that was once theirs. I cannot find the strength inside of me to open it. I genuinely believe that if I open that door and do not see them inside sleeping soundly, I will not be able to keep on living. Uh, test number 25 showed promising results, but only for a moment. After five minutes, the subject dissolved into a pool of blood. Nevertheless, I am not discouraged. After five years of experimentation, let's see this progress. Oh, I gotta, I'm going to have to fight my way out now. my health. Caution. Grab me, bro. Can't stop this nail gun. Oh, did I press the right button by default? I guess so. The secret button, or the uh, secret door open. That's creepy as hell, man. Well, look at those camera angles. Oh, this is cool, man. I love these camera angles. <clears throat> A VHS videotape. <laughs> I gotta go all the way back to that room. Experiment room is written on the label. All right. So we've got the VHS tape for that that one player all the way back where we were. 
Oh my god. Someone died behind the bars a long time ago. God, it was a young child. Okay, are we, are we done with this morgue area? I'm trying not to get lost here. All right, there was that secret door. Basement West. Okay. Did I turn the generator back on? I did, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Door unlocked. Ooh, where does this connect me? Oh, good, look. It led me right here. Oh, hell yeah. All right, VHS tape. Let's see what's on this thing. Play. Kids nowadays playing this would be like, how do I work a VHS tape? I don't know what to do. What made you decide to pick this game, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I've been wanting to play this game for a while, but I, I hadn't bought it yet. Actually, George in the chat um, actually donated to the channel, sent it over from Amazon. So I decided to play it right away. This body was undergoing medical procedure. A place like this. And Quadriel, thank you for the $2. This looks like old school RE, an homage to it. Yeah, it, it's old school RE. If, if you watch the from the beginning of the stream again later on, you'll, you'll see all the Resident Evil and Silent Hill throwbacks. It's like a mix of both. It's really, really good, actually. November 15th. It's actually surprisingly good. I knew I was gonna like the game, but like how good it feels to play something like that. It just makes me very nostalgic. Cause they, they just don't make games like this anymore. Like a lot of games now hold you your buying? hands way too easily. And this one, like you actually have to think about some of these puzzles and they're actually well-designed puzzles. Oh, that's what I couldn't read before. See, we're in the past now. 1980. Veteran Waldberg's di diary. The experiments keep failing. All the fetuses are misshapen. I have an idea that will allow us to obtain more test subjects and accelerate the process. But to do it, I'll have to do something terrible. And innocent lives will be lost. I have faith that God will give us... Oh, the necessary strike to complete our mission. No matter the cost, our goal is sacred. when I pressed before. Peonies, roses, or jasmine flowers. I can never remember, though I still feel the butterflies in my stomach. There's... Something just moved. Ah, it's like two-headed fetuses. Kind of excited for RE4 to play like RE2 remake. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. I, I can't wait for that. Like, I, I'm one that's always been on the side of Code Veronica needs a remake more than RE4 does, but I'm still gonna play it and probably still like it a lot. I think RE4, in my opinion, still it still works well a, as a game. Like, it still stands. Uh, it's still. Uh, it, it's aged well, I, in my opinion. And, but you know what? If you're going to do a remake and make it like RE2 remake, I'm all for it. I think it'd be cool because their RE4 wasn't very scary at all. So if they give it more of that like scary mood, that's a win. I 
these working? Stethoscope. Why is this trap room working again? You want to know if I have to press a certain button here? Because I, I pressed this one before. It's weird. I don't know if I have to press a certain combination. Everything you need to solve this puzzle is in the room. So I guess it's different. Collection of books about science. I assume I just have to open that door, but I gotta find out the right combination. It's definitely is puzzle of the game. I don't mind it actually this time. Foul smell emanates in the body. A calendar. It's November 15. 15th, 1980. Alright, let me see what I don't click on. Oh my god, look at his face. Or lack of one. It's brutal. It's gonna be this right here. Peonies? What are peonies? Does that say flower? Peonies, roses, or jasmine flowers? I can never remember. Though I still feel the butterflies in my... S butterflies in my stomach. Hold up. I thought I had to cut his stomach open or something. Do I still feel the butterflies in my stomach? Her cold skin under my caress. Oh, she loved the poems. I whispered. The disappointment I felt when I had to let her go. I think it has something to do with the stomach. There's an order to this. Still feel the butterflies on my stomach, her cold skin on my caress. How she loved the poems I whispered, or the disappointment I felt when I had to let her go. It wasn't so much later I was able to scream into the wind. I know it's a certain combination of buttons I know I have to do. And I think it has to do with the damn poem. What did I press in the regular world? It was just this one, right? I thought it was that one that I pressed. Wait, I heard something. I thought I heard a noise. Streams brought to you by George Lewis. Thank you, George. You're a beautiful human being, almost as beautiful as Simon Belmont. Is anyone as beautiful as Simon Belmont? Captain N. Simon Belmont. So I've determined I gotta press that in a certain order. This is a good puzzle right here. I don't think there's anything else for me to check. I think this is just giving me the date.
This guy doesn't seem to be any help. Yeah, it's the only things I can interact with. <laughs> Is this? And this. So what I assume is this is giving me the combination of the buttons. Peonies, roses, or jasmine flowers. I can never remember. Though I still feel the butterfly. Wait, hold on. I think I'm on something. Check this out. Look. There's one, two, three, four, five buttons. How many phrases are there? One, two, three, four, five. Technically six. All right. Still feel butterflies in my stomach. That's stomach. Thought I saw a button prompt on the camera. Yeah, that takes me back to the real world. Butterflies in stomach. Cold skin under my caress. That's your hand. So we got stomach. We got hand. How she loves poems. I would whisper. Throat. Stomach, hand, throat. The disappointment I felt I had to let her go. Disappointment I felt. Heart. I don't know. I don't know if I'm on the right track. I wasn't so much like I was able to scream into the wind. Hold on. Let's read that again. I can never remember. Let's do head. Stomach. Hand. Throat. And chest. Head. Stomach and I heard a noise. Head, stomach, did you guys hear a noise too? I feel like I'm on the right track, but I'm doing it in the wrong order. Stomach. Hand. Should have put that whisper. It's gotta be throat. You have to press certain ones twice. Let's analyze this. I gotta jot this down. <clears throat> Pennies, roses, jasmine, flowers. I can never remember. That might be head. Though I still feel the butterflies in my stomach. We got stomach. Notice that that corresponds to the parts of the body where the buttons are. Her cold skin under my caress. That would be your hand. Because you can feel it. How she loved the poems I would whisper. Whisper. I'm assuming that's throat because that's how you whisper. Like the disappointment I felt when I had to let her go. See that one? Maybe hand again? It wasn't until much later I was able to scream into let me throat again. I don't know if I'm on the right track at all. <laughs> but let's try this. Um, all right, so what do I have? I have a head Stomach Hand Then throat Hand and throat No, that's completely wrong <laughs> Man, I think I'm on the right track though Uh, the bots are back. Still feel the butterflies in my stomach. Cold skin under my caress. I want to know why I made a noise before, though. I clearly heard a sound when I was messing with the buttons. You were only one off, was I? What 
what did I write down? Head, stomach, so I was on our track. Hand, throat. Hold on, what could I be off then? I could never remember. It's probably head. Feel the butterflies in my stomach. Cold skin under crest. That's hand. So I think it's head, stomach, hand. Then how she loved the poems I would whisper to her. Throat. Disappointment I felt when I had to let her go. I think that's the one I got wrong. I have a hand. It wasn't until much later that I was able to scream into the wind. Try this. Head, stomach, hand, throat. Let's do head and throat. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh I left one out. I just realized that. I left one out. I think I know what it is. Hold on. I can never remember. That's head, stomach, cold skin. That's hand. She loved the poems I would whisper to her. That's heart. Love. I didn't realize there was a button there. Heart. Disappointment I felt when I had to let her go. Maybe. And then scream. I might have it mixed up here, but hold on. Head, stomach, hand, heart, and throat. How many are there? Wait a minute. There's one, two, three. There's five. So one of them I have to hit twice. That's when I got to figure out, I think, which one. All right, I could never remember. You got head because you're trying to remember. Though I still feel the butterflies in my stomach. That stomach. Her cold skin under my caress. I assume that's hand. Cold skin under my caress. Caress. How she loved the poems I would whisper to her. That could be throat though. Let me try that because you're whispering. And then after that, the disappointment I felt when I had to let her go would be maybe heart. It wasn't until much later that I was able to scream into the wind that we throw it again. I, I think I have it all mixed up again. Let's let's see though. I want to understand this one. Head, stomach, hand, th throat, heart, throat. Shit. <laughs> Man, that was a clever puzzle. I like that one. It made you think uh, it, it's basically the poem w was corresponding to the parts of the body. You can interpret it in different ways, though, which that's where the, uh, the experimentation comes from. All right, well, we got it. There you go. Time to go on the secret passageway. What horrors await you, Catherine? In cutscene time. Yeah, sad. That's the little girl that was that died. Art style kind of reminds me of Little Nightmares, sort of thing. Who are you? You don't seem to be one of them. The trophy is called Frustration. One of them? What are you doing down here? 
My grandfather and those men in suits locked me down in Who the says cell. games don't teach you critical thinking? Please, miss. Games are an you educational to tool, you see. Get out of here. You should use them in schools. Instead of word problems. I hate word problems in school. Those are my, my son. Sometimes he'll bring like like middle school homework. They'll have like word problems that are a paragraph long and I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> like your head's spinning. Of course I'll help. Stay calm, okay? Screw word problems. Everything will be alright. Video right. games. I promise. Okay, miss. Where are your parents? My father is on a business trip. He should be back like in a couple of days. I gotta get off soon. And my I mother clean my kitchen. was also captured by those men. I'm so sorry. I'll really get you though. out of here. First, we need to find a way to open the door. What do you plan to do, miss? Those men in suits took the key with them, and I don't think it's a good idea that you get close to them. I'm sure there's a way to get the gun. lock off without using the key. Please hurry. There isn't much time. We need to save Mother. We'll get you out. Just wait a little longer. Out? Are... Oh, they're in Canada, right? They said. Because the way they say out and sorry is very, like sorry and, and out. Like, that's very Canadian, isn't it? I did not think that was going to work, actually. It will take days to have an effect. Oh, perfect. What have you done to the lock, miss? I poured some acid on it. The metal will eventually dissolve, but it will take some time. I only hope that the acid works fast. There's almost no candle left. Finally, I was able to use You acid. have to be patient, little one. Sooner or later, the lock will fall apart. For now, the best we can do is wait. Thank you, miss. What is your name, little one? I'm Anna. Anna Wildberger. I live here in the hospital with my parents and my sister. It's a horrible place. Have we live. met before? Your face seems familiar, but I'm sure we've never seen each other before. Do you work in the hospital? No, but I have this photograph. Are you so one Canadians of these girls? It sounds Canadian, like the way they talk. What? Why do you have this photograph? I don't know, but I'm trying to figure it out. It was mailed to me a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? My father took that photo yesterday morning, just before he left for his trip. It's like some weird, like, Why interdimensional time travel going on here. I swear I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. What do you want from me? I just want to help you get out of here. I'm not talking to you anymore. That acid was probably another lie to fool me. You never wanted to help me get out. I should be in such a little bitch. Anna, you have to listen to me. I need you Don't to be trust me, little me. girl. I am your friend. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Anna, listen to me. Fine. Then you stay down here forever. Bye. <laughs> All right, now I will time travel back and the acid will dissolve the lock. What a weird thing. Crap, how did I get back there? Oh, it was back here. Right? Yeah, it was back here. The secret uh secret chambers. Canadians are very strange creatures. I personally think they're beings from another dimension. Cause no human could be that nice. Yeah, here in America everyone's an asshole. <laughs> There's a lot of assholes here. Mostly to each other. Combination key. It's missing a dial. There we go. I have that dial. Oh, hell yeah. You notice something? Look. Remember before? We saw a skeleton and said someone died here? Now the, the body's not here anymore. So that means we must have saved her. 1980. I want, I'm going to make a story prediction here. And say that you just created some kind of weird time paradox. Because I'm assuming Catherine is actually Anna. Because they look very similar. Uh, this is just a guess. Don't tell me if I'm right. But this is my guess. 
I'm guessing since you saved her here. Does the math add up? 1980. Maybe it does. Since you saved her, that's how uh, you're an adult now. I don't know. Let's read this diary. Something very odd happened. A woman holding a lighter that brightened my prison appeared from the darkness. At first, I was afraid, but her features reminded me of mother. She came close to me and told me that she would help me get out of here. Then she poured acid on the cell door lock. She showed me the picture that father took of Emma and me a couple days ago and told me that she had received it in the mail more than a week ago. After that, she left the promise of returning. The acid worked. The woman was right. I just needed to wait. Luckily, the suited men have not arrived yet. I will find a place to hide until father returns from his trip. I don't know the details of my theory, but I'm going along those lines. Very interesting indeed. See, and now we have to go back in time and help her get out. Or uh, open the lock, I mean. And there's probably something uh, in the cell where she was. Damn, man. This game's addicting. <laughs> Some general opinion of this game. I like it a lot. It's really good. It's straight up classic survival horror. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to go back in time. You go back to the past. Like Samurai Jack. What am I doing? <laughs> I gotta get to the camera. Oh, wait. Can I not go back anymore? Well, I guess I can't go back anymore. Let's examine this. Have we seen a door with a lock like that? Doesn't look familiar. Well, we have a key. Um... All right, let's get out of here. <clears throat> I have a mystery key now. You're supposed to cut off early. I know. <laughs> I'm going to go save right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty hooked to this game, though. Like, it's genuinely a game. Like, if I didn't have shit I had to do tonight, I I'd be on until, like, 1 a.m. You know what? I, I guess, yeah, I will save here. Because, you know what? At least now we have kind of a... Um... Wait a minute. Look at that picture. Hold on, let me go see something real quick. That picture matches exactly that key. Wait a minute. <laughs> one more thing, one more thing. That was the sewing room. Wait. 
Wait, hold on. I can't get into the library yet, though. Dining room, dining room, hallway. Let me let me do this real quick. Hold on. We go to the main hall. <laughs> this would have been a ten-hour stream, very possibly. Cause I would have just kept going. But I have, I feel like I'm about to solve a mystery real quick. That was that. I'm hearing all kinds of noises now. All right, dining room hallway. This is where I want to be. Look, we can go into the dining room. I just came in from the library. Okay, dining room. Look at this shit. I think that's the key. I think that's the key with that weird little dial. Look at this. Oh, this is it. Oh, ho, 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 wait a minute. The pattern. Is that enough, though? Because you got to set... It feels like the key is incomplete. See, because look at this. Because you get... Man, at least we know we're on the right track. That is the key. We just got to figure out this, the, the correct like dial combination. Wait, what's the middle ring? That moves the middle key. I feel like there's a piece of the key missing. I don't know if that's a thing. But you see how like... Look at the keyhole. See how there's like six? But when I reorient this... See, I have to get the pattern down here to match the keyhole. I don't feel that there's enough, um... See, look. See that? I feel like there's another, look, another, like, part to these key. There's another part to the key. I believe. There's a little vase here, too. Let me play with this a little bit here. See, because if you... Yeah, see, I don't, I don't think there's enough. <laughs> the forms of the keyhole doesn't match your key. Yeah, no, I know... The, um, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know if, uh, the key's complete. I think the pattern on the door is the key to the puzzle and combined with the adjustable key. Yeah, no, this is definitely what goes in there, but either there's still more left to this key or you got to adjust this, um, in a certain pattern so it gets the whole socket.
Maybe I can't do this yet. See, and then we've got all these patterns here that... That's the second piece of the puzzle. Because the key is also... If you look at the map, that's the picture of that key. Look, right there. With the three little... uh, Like, that is the key. Alright, what combination... There's a certain combination that has to work. You can do this now, so I don't need a second piece of the key or anything. In the little picture, it shows this. I'm sure that's not right, though. I'll try it anyway. Stick it in there. <clears throat> Is that case usable on any other door? Check the map. Well, it, it's the same key on... It's on a bunch of different doors have this type of puzzle. What I'm assuming is when you turn this, it activates whatever puzzle this is. But the thing is, I, I gotta rotate this motherfucker in some way to where these little key uh, little locks here I feel like I don't have enough. I don't know what the answer is. Maybe I'll save it for next time. The clue on the door is a broken vase repaired to its original state. I don't understand how that's a clue at all for this key. Actually, Fox, so am I even on the right track with turning these? I am, right? It's the only thing. Well, anyways, you know what? Let me just go save. Because <laughs> I'll be on it all night if I don't stop now. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up next time on that. Let me just go drop a save real quick. Wherever the hell I was. It's all about the symbols up top. Alright. But we'll, uh... We'll do it next time. I just got to, uh... What, what's the easiest place to go save? I gotta remember that room. Don't let me forget whoever's watching. <laughs> Next time I stream this game, the first thing I gotta do is, is go to those. Uh, I got the key and I gotta go to those doors. That That's what I gotta do. If I can find the damn save room now. No, this isn't it. Damn, I think I understand the key now. No, but uh, next time, next time. I think I understand the key now. Shit. Next time. <laughs> I'm like trying to convince myself. So far, how much out of 10? I don't know. I don't know what number to give. It's very good, though. I don't like giving number of scores. But the, the game is, is so damn good. 
See, like, look, this. Save room. Um, just the chapel. Damn, what is the closest save room? What the fuck? Uh, up here, right? I think this was a save room. Yeah, this is a save room. Damn, I gotta watch how many tapes I have. I feel like I've been using a lot of them to save. I only have one left after this. I gotta get more. After going through that strange projection, I found myself in a place I'm sure I have been before, but it was different, as if it was the same place at another time. It gave me a feeling I didn't belong. I discovered something terrible. A young girl locked in a cell. Who yeah, could do her. such a horrible thing to a child? There is a robust lock holding the cell door. I don't think I'll be able to locate the key, so I should find another way to open it. I already it. have the key. What's she talking about? I have to get her out of there. All right. <laughs> I'll cut it there. Because I got to go do some stuff. Um, awesome, awesome stream. I, I, I genuinely love this game. I got... I got to keep you guys in suspense so uh, you come back next week. <laughs> um, for those of you to the channel, we stream Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays normally. So next week we're getting back on that schedule. Monday. I'll see you guys on Monday. We're going to finish Modern Warfare 2. Um, we're about at the halfway point of that game. Probably a little, a little bit after the halfway point. And then Wednesday, Gotham Knights. And then Friday next week, more of this. So we got a nice fat full week. And then by next week sometime, I'll have Metroid Timeline Part 9 up. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a good time watching me play this game and uh, get stuck on puzzles several times, including this one. <laughs> but, yes, I will catch you guys. Uh, enjoy your weekend. I will catch you guys Monday, 7 p.m. for uh, Modern Warfare 2 Finale, which I won't put in the title just in case. But I'll see you then.